right now. All righty, welcome to the OSRS podcast. I'm Matt Macau. Going on, boys. Rex, as always. And hello, it's Rice Coat. And today we have Mr. Alkin in the flesh, one of the OG creators of RuneScape. He used to be known for his insane multi-account uh, XP progression, but now he's does that and also more, such as uh, PVM collection log on Iron and all that. So yeah, welcome, Mr. Alkin. Nice to have you first time. On the podcast. Look at the intro, bro. Respectable. <laughs> yes, sir. I mean, you know, I've been uh, I've been a fan of Mr. Alkin's uh, videos before, uh, you know, like old school RuneScape. So it's been a long time. It's nice to be able to have this conversation. But how are you today? Um, yeah, tell us a bit about what's going on recently. You know. Uh, oh, when's this gonna be uploaded? A while, a little while. Yeah, a few days. You know, probably. All right, should be good. Weekend, it might just be a small spoiler then. Uh, oh, yeah. I've been doing like. POA lately, and uh, I got the Fang as my oh, last purple. That's hilarious, nice. yo! Ooh, and I got yeah, I got the staff before the Fang, bro. Okay. Oh my god, so it's been good. It's been good. Yeah, yo, congrats, man. Jeez. Yeah, can you not just brute so force? Good. Can you brute force with a staff, or is that just not a thing in TOA? I've not done it since release. So brute force, know. what, like three fifty? Or I mean, sorry, five hundred. Just like everything. With like full ancestral and staff, or does it all work out to uh, uh I don't think you could brute force like Baba with Mage, I don't think. Uh, yeah, okay. it's, not it's not that great. It's not that great. It's really good for Akka <laughs> and stuff like that, but you could definitely use it for like the Warden Room. Yeah, I, and saw, I think even Zabok actually, right? I saw Alkin use the Rapier. Yeah, I, that's what I did. I just used the Rapier until I got the Fang. It's not Dude, no was so ass. Once <laughs> yeah. I got the Fang, I was like, holy. Because I was already doing like 350 invos of the Fang. It's so much better at that point. So Man, it's a noticeable I, difference. I remember on release, I bought the rapier for, I think it was like 200 mil. <laughs> like because when it first came out? When it first came out, yeah, because the rapier went mad. But Dude, like the, the fang uh, was too much. The rapier hit like 220, I think, yeah, whenever uh, TOA came out, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, was it, was like, mad. it was like the best straight thing for Straight down. <laughs> yeah. Straight yeah. down, bro. Dude, uh, talk, talking about, well, before we get into bad investments, because I want to hear about Mint's <laughs> PvP uh, weapons, because uh, that's uh, been a thing forever, but Mintus Maddus, I believe uh, you were talking about a sellout goal or something for likes or subs, or what were you, you saying? You know what, Tom, what I'm glad sell? you brought it up, bro, because I was exactly thinking about a sellout goal. Wait, no, for I wasn't, I wasn't at all. Yeah, for this, <laughs> yeah, for this podcast. Yeah. Either Bryce but, uh, away as Karassi when he gets it. Is that what it was? No, doing? what? No, dude. <laughs> dude, Rice already has half a Void Waker on his Iron Man. So once he two gets thirds, a full one and this video hits 1,000 likes, we'll just toss it to you. Oh, now, what, what's a what's a goal we could hit? Maybe 300 likes for this video yeah, to help humble. the OSR's podcast? Humble. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Do you guys advertise this on your like main like YouTube channels at all? Uh, we so, try. Yeah, yeah, we try. Sometimes, yeah. 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 So just like well, mention the start of video, like yeah, we made a podcast, and then go yeah. for like five hundred likes, I'd say. Okay, okay, five hundred. I like yeah. it. Yo, yeah. if Alkin says so, bro, you know, let's do 500 it. likes, boys. There's a lot to cover, a lot of people to have on. If you want to see uh, some more podcasts, dude, help us hit some goals. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, yes, yeah. sir. And also, sir. it was completely my fault as well that we've not done a podcast in however long it's been. I went to uh, Budapest. That's how you say it, actually. It's, it says Budapest, but apparently you pronounce it Budapest. And uh, then I came back and I had real bad COVID for like a week, so I, I've mm. just been out of it. So sorry about having to move it last week, Alkin. Wait, you went where? Uh, Budapest. Where the hell is that? Like on planet Earth? <laughs> on planet, yeah, it's, it's, actually, it's actually next to Ukraine. Oh, okay. I risked uh, it all, dude. Risked it all. Risked yeah. it all. Did yeah, you see any like snow sausage? <laughs> no, it's it, it borders with Ukraine, but it's so far away from all of that shit. It's very like Eastern Europe, like almost. It might even be as far east as you can go and still be in the EU. Actually, I guess because I well, yeah. Was I don't that think a Ukraine plane ride a... for you or a train or something? <laughs> it was a plane plane ride. Right. It was like I think it was like two and a half hours, something like that. You know, it's, it's funny, a... bro. Most like Americans and Canadians probably got no idea which countries touch where in Europe. But y'all just oh, have yeah, one dude. train that go through all of them, right? <laughs> as long as it's that's Western how we see Europe, it, bro. Yeah, Western Europe, like you know, I know quite a bit, but Eastern Europe is like that's a uh, you know unknown territory. My that's teachers like... didn't even touch that on a map, bro. They just said, "Here's America, 
I think Mexico's uh, down there. <laughs> yeah. That's it, bro. Yeah, I have no other idea. country was just other. And that's all it was called. I think they poked to Africa yeah. somewhere, but I got How lost. Could you? Bro. Yeah. It, it's, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty far east. I mean, well, actually, Turkey's more far east, but anything past Turkey, you get into all, like, the stands and have stuff. Have you been to Turkey? I have. Wasn't a massive fan Do they fan eat of Turkey there? No. I don't think they well, probably do. Find that. this extremely offensive. I know, yeah, right? I know. What's up? They don't eat turkey in Turkey? No, I, I mean, they pro- probably do. do. They probably do. But they Wait. like, they're really good at making like kebabs and stuff. Like, Wait, hold on, hold like on. Alkin said he found that ex- offensive. He needs to uh, explain the, the origins of that. Oh, I, I have like a Turkish background. <laughs> yeah, that's but not, but not, from, not from Turkey, though, from Cyprus, which is like south of that. Oh. oh, bro, Cyprus is supposed to be like stunning. Like, there's so many English people that talk about, like, retiring in Cyprus and they go on holiday every year because it's just beautiful. So, the UK is very good place that people normally vacation to Cyprus. They go on the, uh, so Cyprus is, like, a Turkish side and a Greek side. The Greek side's quite a bit bigger, I believe. And they use, like, euros on that side. The Turkish side, they use, like, Turkish lira. I mm. think, uh, the, because of the ratio now, like, one pound there is, like, uh, like, $20 or something. And, like, oh the Turkish God. side. So, a lot of people do retire in like england and go to like cyprus because it's way cheaper they, and they it's always that. it's like always sunny there's like it's an island so like everything you, you can yeah. see it's yeah. a really i'm literally looking at the world map right now and it's it's not even that big like no, to be honest island, with you. right I, I, it's, it's i think it's like a three hour car ride from one side to the other side yeah yeah it it's, probably is yeah it's and, and, and dude there they view like a 10 minute car ride as like a long car ride because it's so small <laughs> most people here like they drive to an hour to work sometimes <laughs> Oh my That's God. like going yeah, half the freaking yeah. country. Yeah, Canada yeah. is huge compared to... Well, Cyprus is just an island, right? Yeah, just off the... Yeah, it's a puny, puny one. Yeah, yeah, off of Greece, right? Yeah. Yeah, I heard it's a good uh, vacation spot, though. But, you know, this is, this uh, is a good there... question. Yeah, what's that? I was, I was just going to say, like, you know, I'm the only English person here. You guys are American. So, like, do you guys ever want to leave America and, like, travel the EU well, or any other parts Canadian. of the world? <laughs> He's Canadian. Yeah, bro. The oh, he's back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, pretty, pretty much all the same, bro. You're all over yeah. on there. You're all Yo, over now you know how we feel about Europe, bro. You're all the same. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, Euro boy. <laughs> Matt, to, to be fair, I think I think Canada, for the most part, here in the UK, is kind of like uh, like glorified. Like people. Just the second it. part of uh, America, really. Yeah. Well, they, 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 Florida. To be honest, I hear a lot no. of people saying that Canada is basically America, but but good. <laughs> Damn Everyone's right, dude. Those people there. are smart, bro. Yeah, I think like an icon of Minnesota, bro. I much. can confirm. You go up there, your your positivity and chill levels go up two hundred percent. It's wild, you know. Just cross I heard the a water. lot of people speak France or French in a Canadian. <laughs> yeah. They speak French. Oh in my Quebec, God, probably. Dude. Yeah, that's what I heard, dude. Or in they South Park. French, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Hey, don't yeah. you dare use South Park as a way of learning, all right? Right, yeah, there's like different regions. This is bad where, education. Yeah, there's like a French side. I didn't say it was like a, a good one. Yeah. Uh, like, it's one of my RuneScaper. I see yeah. all the time on like social media, or like American people are like super eager to go to like Europe and stuff, and they're like, oh, it's too expensive and whatnot. Like, is that something you guys want to do? Like, do you want to travel outside the States at all or Canada? It's probably, it's probably the plane ride that costs the most, I'd imagine. Yeah, the yeah. plane ride is the number one reason because that's that's like a grand, you know, round trip. So, yeah, and then you don't even know easy. what's over there. So it's it's scary financially yeah. for sure. Yeah, it's I've like been uh, to Australians your traveling. I think Australians can't really travel like that much because it's quite expensive for them. Yeah, they're just far away from they're, everywhere. Other than Asia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they can go to I mean, Asia, they, but like, you know, yeah, there's only so many I think many they Asian do that places. a lot. I think they mm. pretty much vacate, for the most part, to like New Zealand and also to the, the Asian countries. Like you yeah, said, like yeah. Australia, like part two pretty much is what that is, right? I, mean, yeah, I haven't been in enough. Well, New Zealand's. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've, never, I've never been to Australia, but like New Zealand's absolutely, like, it's like a home away from home. Like if I was to live anywhere in the world and I had the choice, it'd probably be New Zealand. That's like, what my viewers supposed... say. They say it's very beautiful oh. over there. A lot of birds, you know, trees. Oh, bro, it's it's unbelievable. It's is just... birds like actual birds, or is that how you call it? What you Kiwis. call females? <laughs> oh, oh, the toucans. Is that where Fruit Loops come from? No, 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 no dude. We're talking about kiwis they, in New Zealand. They got, yeah, the kiwis birds. are fruits, right? The bird kiwi man. Boy, I a fruit and a don't bird. know about no oh birds. Oh my god, you guys are so un- uneducated, okay. bro. Lack of yeah, geography, lack of birds, man. 
Dude, Mint's gonna American. go to Canada and learn to speak some friends. It's like, yo, you speak American? You know, Mint's gonna be like, yo, you speak American? <laughs> it's like, you mean English? It's like, like, yeah. It's but like, you guys yeah, don't yeah, answer yeah. my question though. Do you guys have the bug to go to like Europe or? or I mean, I wrote, I've been there twice, so I've been in the Netherlands and the UK. So nice. I'm trying to expand my list eventually, but I need to, you know. If I if I knew how to speak Turkish, I'd probably like possibly live in uh on oh, really? Cyprus for a while. Oh wow. It, yeah, dude, yeah. What's... You, you can buy like a full kebab plat like plate for like six <clears throat> Canadian dollars. Oh, that, Yo, okay. So question. And, question. And it's then. a beach everywhere, and it's like hot weather. Dude, so, question amazing. for Alkin then: Have you so have you lived in uh, Canada land? You know, just to be ignorant with the rest of us. Uh, have you been living there like your whole life, or uh, yeah, 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 the, the same I think, area I think like when Toronto, I was a... like area. Yeah, I'm like an hour from Toronto. Can you give oh, us okay. the address? <laughs> yeah, I can do that. It's like no. Toronto. <laughs> no, because because you know I I've like I've talked to Alkin before like as like a long time ago. I remember like going to Canada or something. Like we talked about it. I was just making sure like it's the general area. But yeah, it's a big place. You know, Canada's huge. One, so. one have day I'm you gonna seen go that one there. like uh, that one like weird? It's like a, I don't know if it's a meme event or not, but it's like uh, all Canadians live underneath this line here. Have you seen that picture before? I think so, yeah. Yeah, because it like, it's like, huge, but not many people live in the forest areas or something. Yeah, it's, right? it's kind of like Australia. Like, the middle yeah. of Australia is dead. It's just like all trees or some shit, and yeah. everyone just lives along the coast. So it's kind of like Makes that sense. for Canada. But Makes sense, yeah. Anything north is pretty much like dead for the most part. Yeah, that thing, you'll instantly freeze. Okay, okay, that, that makes a lot of sense. But yeah, during, this, during that time... Oh, you can go on. You Vancouver, looks, I'm looking at Vancouver on the map and like... Yeah, Vancouver's like, a pretty big travel spot too. Dude, a lot of my viewers live in Vancouver, dude. Bone Solid is too. Vancouver, Vancouver oh, Islands. That look like I can look at just just looking at like the Earth's terrain there and like the way the the fords fjords, sorry, come into the land. Like I'm guessing it's very naturally beautiful up there. You say I've fjords, never been, like but a Viking? Yeah, I've seen it. Fjords. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Fjords like a Viking name. What's a fjord? What's it? What's a fjord? So a fjord's basically where it a very long time ago there would have been like like back in the ice age there would have been ice like sh like shooting out of the land effectively there was ice in the ice age yeah. <laughs> there was it was flames. And then what, what ended up happening as the world like got warmer or whatever I, I don't know too much about that but as that ice melted it left these fjords and effectively what a fjord is is sea comes inland because the icebergs were so they were so big that Ooh. there's enough of like a pool there to pull the sea into it if that makes sense Instead of it just being a river where the water flows out to sea, the sea comes into land. Yeah, I learned saying, that when I was in Norway. He's saying That's it's like cool. salt. It's like salt water in a place where the water would normally be fresh, right? That kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. 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 All right. Oh, yeah. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure. Much. I'm pretty sure it's fjords, or at least that's how they said it in what in Norway. So it See, might I was watching be... like an anime, and every Viking anime, I swear, is always one dude named Fjord. So I was like, what the fuck, Fjord? Maybe, I was maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. But then you didn't know what kiwi was, so you know. Well, I knew it was a fruit. We'll doubt it. I got half of that one. <laughs> we'll Man, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely certain. When I was traveling in New Zealand like six years ago, that and I've spoken to people that live in New Zealand, and there's like, there's no way you did that because they're so rare. But I'm like 99% sure I killed a kiwi bird. Uh, what? Or I killed like a very close relative to it. Like, was it a crime of passion? No, bro. Oh my what god! What did you do? You sit on oh. one? What happened? I, so it was my turn. To, we we rented a camper van for twenty one days, and it was my turn to drive. And we were like limited. I think it was like the max you could go in the camper van was like eighty kilometers an hour. I think it was. So it's like sixty miles an hour. And my foot's basically to the floor. We're driving along, and there's a massive lorry that's like got loads of logs on the back of it, right? Like huge fucking trees is cut down. And I'm driving and it's right up my ass, okay? My friend is on his Game Boy, like led in the back, just absolutely oblivious to what's going on. And there's this massive lorry. And about a hundred meters down the road, there I see something in the distance. My friend sat in the front with me and a friend's in the back. And it's like these little bird things are crossing the road. And there was like five or six of them. And there were two big ones. There was like a mummy and a daddy. Anyways, they they get off the road, 
they cross it, and I'm like, oh, thank God, because I can't brake because I've got this truck up my ass, and if you know anything about trucks, like, it's yeah, not a good yeah, idea just yeah. to whack the brakes on with one of those behind you. Can't. you. Especially, especially when your best friend's just led there, like, playing on his Game Boy, no idea. The fucking things got across the road into the hedge and i shit you not for some fucking reason the big one jumped back out and just oh. ran straight in front of the van and he just i was just driving just with this little dude. what the hell <laughs> you oh, took out papa g you killed it bro oh my bro, god i killed it i my my friend sat next to me was like man he's like you sick bastard he's like you sick bastard he's like why he's didn't you oh my God. Uh, he's like, why, did, why didn't you slow down and i'm like mate there's a lorry up my ass i was like hughes in the background i'm about to get fucking sardine smushed i'm like if it just like i wasn't gonna slam the brakes on incriminating for it. evidence like, i wasn't man. slamming the brakes on for it man yeah. Murder. Everything was gone i see Sorry, tangent, Anyways. but yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure it was a kiwi or like a relative of a kiwi. It it looks just like it. They're very you know um, what it is now. It's very dead. specific. They don't fly. <laughs> the, otherwise, they would have yeah. flew away. You know. <laughs> yeah. It, do, you know, do you know what it looks like? It looks like um. Oh, what's that Pokemon called? The the one that's like it's basically you like mean a furball. Do do it. It looks yeah, like that. Do -do yeah. It literally looks like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. How big was it? Probably like. Oh, okay. I was gonna Probably, say you hit a yeah, duo, was... man. You couldn't yeah, break no, on that no, no, thing. No. Just oh, don't oh, fucking. It's something the like that. <laughs> I think it's a relative. But yeah, it's like it was. A, it was, dude. I had a choice. It was like either I potentially kill my friend and we die too, or the little bird that decided to be dumb and run back in the middle of the road after it had crossed, and I, I did. I just made that decision, man. It was one of those moments, you know. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I would have done the same. Yo. Okay. Back to Mr. Alkin, though. Like I, I personally wanted to go back to to you know some some OG conversations that predates even old school RuneScape because you've been around you've been playing a lot of RuneScape and recording RuneScape since uh, when did you actually that that would be a good start when when did you first got the idea that you'd be like yo I'm gonna make some videos on RuneScape and showcase like my my insane XP gains because that's what you're known for back in the day. Uh, hmm. I think it's my first. Let me go double check. No, oh, two. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure some of the videos on this channel are. Yeah, because I remember you had two channels, right? You you had your old old channel. I'm yeah, not technically sure. three. If three. Oh the yeah. Original original. Yeah. It has one. <laughs> has one thousand nine hundred and one thousand nine hundred thirty subs. What does it say? Subscribe and stay tuned. Max total as of January twenty eighth, <laughs> twenty ten. 99 oh, wow, 2010 but i think i knew you from your second channel when you when it was just uh number one boss i think right yeah that one was probably uh it was around the same time as this channel so this channel has like some videos that are 12 to 13 years old i think my other channel is about 10 years old probably some of the oldest videos on there damn that's crazy yeah the rs runescape music videos <laughs> on that bad boy uh, dude, that's why I had to switch channels because back then with the whole like monetization thing, you couldn't have any music. So I was mm. like, I'm gonna delete all my videos or just make a new channel. Oh, so you Cashier. made the new channel with the idea of monetization in mind at, at that point too, or was it? Well, how kind was that? Of. How was that? Like, the journey? it was horrible. Have you heard about the whole like machinima freaking like contracts? Oh, you you were you were part of that. Is that what you were? I was one of the dudes that got completely scammed. Yeah. Oh, Feel free to give a rundown yeah, tell because us about that. yeah, we want to. I remember that, story. but I think people would like to know about the machinima. Yeah, because a lot oh, of RuneScapers yeah. were involved back then. I think they're fully done now. Like I don't think they're. Ever, I think it's not on a YouTube channel anymore. It was the sure. blockbuster of companies. Pretty yeah. much. <laughs> they. I don't know. They, they somehow became the first like middleman for like allowing gaming to make money because I think original YouTube you could only make money from vlogging. Oh like, yeah. Like you never okay. grow score vlogging back in the day. The only reason he didn't make RuneScape videos anymore is because they didn't make him any money. He wasn't allowed to monetize those. Mm. So he so like he was like a YouTube partner back then before it became a thing. You would just pretty much have to like talk into like a camera and that's how you would make money. It's like a vlog pretty much. And then I think Machinima came by and they realized that they could somehow monetize gaming. I guess they got the rights to like have people profit off a game, I guess. Uh, and then it just kind of grew from there. And because they were the first one, everyone went to them. So they got everyone. And it, I think they offered a contract that was like 60 40 for them. So the YouTuber got like 40%. And Man, I think YouTube's already, Twitch. yeah, YouTube's already taken like 45, I think, percent of your cut. So you get 40, so you get 55% to split with a company. 
that's taking 60. So you get 40 of the 55% you originally get. Yeah, that's like nothing. That's like 20. It, yeah, you would make like a dollar a video. Yeah. I what think was some the machine videos was, split, bro? My, my first few videos was probably like six, seven. Like I literally just thought I'd just get like a, a sub once in a while for my videos. I was like, I'll go buy a, some Subway and that'll be free pretty much because it was from the yeah. videos. <laughs> I mean, that yeah, was like the original yeah. idea. Yeah, you were much oh, yeah. younger back then, so any money was like, ah, right, you know what, that's good. <laughs> it is like probably how how. Well, it was it was like completely new to anyone, so obviously yeah. just playing games in general, yeah. Yeah. And then I think uh, so what Machinima I think did was most people that were signing with them were underage, including myself. So I had like my mom sign for me, and I'm pretty sure their contracts were uh, I forget the words, it perpetuity, perpetuity, where it's forever. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, perpetual, right? perpetual that's one yeah. yeah oh uh so it's pretty much forever so like you were literally and then it became an illegal contract obviously so everyone was able to leave machinima at some point but uh, i was Did and then I, moved to, I moved to full screen i think after because i think bodhi was with them and i was like how is this full screen shit and he was like they're good so i just joined them. <laughs> yeah yeah just yeah. bodhi i was yeah. in full screen at one point as well but then yeah, they they recently disbanded. I think I had to like sign a whole bunch of papers to like because I'm like an actual YouTube partner now. I wasn't a YouTube partner forever. Yeah, they were taking Wait, like ten percent really? of my cut for like zero reasons. <laughs> I did not yeah. get out of it, dude. Oh my no god. Idea. Yeah, they were they were just doing nothing and taking. <laughs> they didn't do shit, but I was like, whatever, bro. It's, I don't even care I, anymore. I remember yeah. I left because I I kept it for a few years under the like pretense that. If I ever had any troubles with like a video going going down, like getting taken down or whatever, they'd be able to help me out. Yeah, and they then, never did. They're, they're, the, they're nowhere in sight, man. Yeah, and I was just like, why am I giving you guys ten percent? You do nothing, <laughs> and I'm they, not going to use your library of copyright free music because it sucks. Yeah, I don't. They were supposed to. I think I, I think Bodie might have actually done one video like this, but they used to pretty much do like sponsored videos back in the day. But I think, so how it worked, I think back then was they would give, there'd be like a pool of money that like a company would like, for like a, like advertisements. They'd have like a hundred thousand dollar pool. And whenever you upload the video, everyone uploads the same like ad, I guess. And then, um, whenever that money out of the pool is gone, you no longer get paid for the ads, like the video. So if you get like 30 K views on a video, you might only get paid for like the first 10,000 views. Once the money's gone, it's gone. So mm, wow. you would get like you'd get like twenty to thirty CPM, which was a lot back then though. So like if you get ten K views with twenty CPM, they would give you two hundred bucks. I never did this because I just didn't know how to set it up. <laughs> but that oh, was like yeah, their okay. that was like their reasoning why you should join them. But I never really got any offers. But that mm. that that was like I guess way back then. And then mm. I just made my other YouTube channel because uh that channel got uh two strikes on it, which means it's oh, one left and okay. it's gone. It's like terminated or something. Yeah, no and one's I, uh, trying to find out. Yeah. Yeah, so I just moved over. I ended up finding out how I got my second strike, and it's kind of shit. It was like, I was doing some, like, completionist series on YouTube. I didn't know how to, like, make thumbnails back then, so I just Googled completion escape, and I just picked an image. And apparently it was another YouTuber's, like, image that they made for their YouTube channel. So I just used it, not Whoa. knowing. Oh, okay. And they copy striked me and didn't even tell me it was theirs. Yeah. They could have just wow. been like, hey, can you not use that? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> but but that was when, uh, you, but, but that was on your first ever channel, right? It was like a 1K subscriber channel, right? No, that, that was on the one that's like 80K now. It's oh, like, the, uh, that was on yeah, the number damn. one boss channel. Oh, damn, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I just want to like talk more about that channel because, you know, that, that was kind of like your, you know, Kind of like what made your brand, right? For for the most part, for quite a few yeah, years. Yeah, that's when I, I first. That was everything at the starting. Yeah. Yeah, because like I remember getting watching your videos. I like stumble across your like crazy like you know like titles. Like you'd be like you know like oh million like they just show so much XP right. And as someone that that's like you know not like the not like super competent at the game, but like not also not super newbie. Like I've done all the content, but like skilling was always something that's just like too much work oftentimes like to try to get 99s but like all your titles are just like dude this guy's like going for xp pass 99 on everything he's like 200 mil like this is like his other account what you know i'm just like okay yeah, gotta... there wasn't too many youtubers that yeah. were doing like speed gaming back then that's for sure there exactly, wasn't that many youtubers yeah. in general though yeah so like what what brought you onto the whole scaling thing like was it always something you enjoyed doing and then you just decide hey you know what i'll just show that off on youtube because you know no one's doing that is that kind of think... like I think it became an addiction when I was probably young. It was like, uh, I think I got a 99 stat. 
and then I looked up my rank or some shit, and I was like, yo, oh, if wow. I do like 5k more XP, I'll go up like this many ranks. Oh. And then I did it, I logged out, I refreshed the page, and I was like, yo, that looks pretty sweet. And then I think that's just how I got addicted to just going for ranks. And yeah. just, uh, it was like cocaine to me, pretty much, which oh, I haven't shit. tried yet. <laughs> Dude, okay. I'm just looking at your, yeah. your channel, your old channel, and yeah. I'm reading stuff like... LMFAO, oh, it's all, fuck, it's all sounds in the thumbnail. I'm not surprised you got <laughs> striked. <laughs> hey man, you know. yeah, that's funny. Yo, no, he, he had his old intro song. I, I think you use that sometimes still, right? Like the, I like the booty boo. Oh, I probably can't use it. Bro, bro, memories, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's memories, bro. Yeah. So, so Alcon, how long oh, have you been God. doing? Uh, are you full time right now? Is is YouTube and content creation like your full time gig? And how long have you done it for? Uh, since high school, I guess. I think originally yeah, the plan was to save money for college after high school, and I was like, I'll just do YouTube and kind of chill for a year and just not do any schooling. Yeah. And then I think old school came out, and I, don't know, I guess YouTube was going okay. So I just kind of stuck to it. I just never stopped, I guess. Wait, so have you been full-time for like, well, like 10 years? 10 years plus? I don't know if I'd count full-time when I like live with my mom, but not anymore, obviously. I mean, I would, I would class, well, I'd class full time as like, you know, you had no other income time. aside from <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah. yeah. Like doing it as like, as like my only source of income. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. like well, back then I was probably yeah. making like maybe one to two K a month when I was in like high school. So yeah. I don't know if that counts as full time yet, but yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. You wanted yeah. two K in high school playing runes game. Hey, that's great, right? man. That's free. Yeah, I, I that's actually free remember, I think, <laughs> I think one month. This is back when America and Canada had like the same ratio for the U.S. dollar and Canadian dollar. I think my best month when I was in like grade eleven was like three k in one month. I was like, "Holy oh, shit!" Damn, bro. That, yeah, that you was an insane. You didn't tell month. nobody. You didn't tell nobody. You driving up to <laughs> no, school I in your I car. All my friends, bro. <laughs> you did? Holy I, had, shit. I, I needed the reason to not be a loser for playing Runescape. So at least oh, okay, if I have three okay. k in a month, it looks kind of yeah. good. Yeah, you're like, hey, yeah, damn. that's true. Yeah, you used to play like uh, what was it like uh, rugby or something, right? Like, so is that how you showed off? To yeah, your friends? rugby and football. <laughs> You're like, hey, hey, I make money, all right. Stop. stop Alpin, do you still um, lift incredibly heavy weights? Because I remember watching you back in the day, learning about your content, learning about RuneScape, and then I also saw that you were just massive. I was like, what the fuck, <laughs> man? It's huge. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I totally forgot about I that. I think part. I I took like maybe almost a year and a half to two years off from training, and I just stopped having motivation for it. I think last summer I started going back a lot after like the pandemic because uh, they, they were closed completely during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, my strength went back to where it was. Uh, it took about five months to get back to where it was, though. Could you five train me and Rakesy, bro? We have Rune Fest. I'll happily go do like, I don't know, a chess workout with you guys or something. <laughs> Well, because Tom is on Fitman mode and I'm also trying to get somewhere. So, hey, man. How's that going for you guys? Well, it's just me and I've been. I, well, it's been bad because <laughs> I've been to I went to Budapest for well Budapest for a week and then I came back and I was ill for a week and now my friend's back from China for the first time in three years so yeah. it's just been, it's been so busy but I for me it like I'm doing all of like the physical stuff I'm being active I'm walking eating well etc but yeah. the thing that sucks for me is so we got like these apps right where you're supposed to like record your calories and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, and they're just shit. Like, I'm. It takes so long for some reason. It's so slow, and it's like ads everywhere, and it's like it's, it's like something from like in the two thousands. <laughs> is there and no like? Is there no like ad free version of it? I don't know, but because it wants me to be a premium member to scan barcodes to see what the calories and stuff is. So I'm just uh... like, fuck it. I can't be bothered with it. Like, I, I'll happily like eat healthier and like do the exercise, but I'm not gonna spend like. 30 minutes just trying to figure out how much rice I had to be completely I, I never actually like, like proper um, meal planned ever but during the summertime I lost about uh, 50 pounds I think uh, okay. from February to like I don't know, August maybe it was 4 to 5 months I think but I, I never even yeah. touched like the whole sheet thing I just, it was just strictly being more active pretty much and uh, oh. Didn't do takeout as much. I do. I used to do takeout almost as much as Devious does now. He does it like two times a day. I swear. Oh no! Yeah. We Dude, wait, what's he? <clears throat> bro, Devious, Devious, Devious orders drinks from like DoorDash. I'm like, dude, drinks? It's for what? food, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, bro, yo, how just... was? Yeah. What? 
Is he, yeah. is he like a secret millionaire? How's he affording that? Something, bro. Something. Uh, an Iron Man V. Well, I, I think he's still living with parents, so he has like no like rent, obviously. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, that is CPM, dude. So, I remember so one his, time his, he told his me his rent is his is his DoorDash, pretty much. And okay, <laughs> okay, that's that's. I mean, there's yeah, a not video healthy. he that's did, bro, really and he was showing his CPM because he's like, "Is this normal?" And it was like yeah, twenty-one dollars. I was like, bro. "What? Twenty-one dollars <laughs> for a thousand views?" <laughs> No wonder you can DoorDash two times a damn day, bro. <laughs> Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, I, I don't know how he gets it. I, I guess maybe he doesn't ever swear in his videos. I don't know, bro. All right, guys, I'm keeping a PG-10, uh, dude. Yeah. Like, I bro, he slapped the shit out of me, man. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But um, oh. to touch on the whole, like, getting fit thing, so... I, I'll, I'll tell you a little... get a little bit personal, I guess. So, Wait, you, some... you did lose a lot of weight, like, a few years ago, right? A little bit? Dude, I yeah, I've yo-yoed with my weight like throughout my <laughs> entire life. Okay, yeah, I call myself a yo-yo because I've gone from being like like morbidly obese. Yeah, to, that's like, like the term in case you're wondering, right? It's, kind of like, it's like yo-yo dieting yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. I know that. I, I so, only know so like the term. The weight wise, yeah. I mean, I've been really fit, <laughs> and I've been really fat, and it it kind of goes backwards and forwards. So, like for me, I'm really not interested. Like and by the way, I know it might sound like I've got like a bad attitude towards like counting calories and stuff like that, but I'm just being realistic with it. I'm like, if I'm not gonna be able to do it long term, and I'm just really not that interested in it. Like I'm more about doing something forever now that is just it, good. It's very hard to do it long term because normally when you're yeah. trying to diet, you are going naturally harder than you're supposed to be going because you're trying to lose yeah. the weight. The maintenance yep. is more like what, like, yeah, it's kind of hard to adjust because you have to eventually adjust to a completely new diet than what you used to be sitting on. Yeah. So I, like, this is the thing. So I've lost weight in the past. I know how to lose weight. I know how to get in good shape, etc. But this time around for the first time in my life, and I don't know why this is exactly, but I have a few reasons. So not only have I reduced my calories right down and I've started doing more stuff. And if anybody doesn't know, doing those two things while you're overweight pretty much means you're going to lose weight. Um, it's been like a month, and I've not lost a single pound. <clears throat> really? And let me explain. So the, the only thing that is different this time around is a medical reason, and that's because I now have to inject insulin. And I recently had a uh, appointment with my doctor, and we spoke about my weight and stuff, and I was like... You know, I was like, I don't know if it's because I'm older now, because I'm like 29 turning 30 this year. Maybe my, my metabolism is just so fucking slow. I don't know. And she was like, you're taking insulin. And she was like, yeah, I'm not surprised. And then I was like, oh. And then I kind of looked into it a little bit more, and it turns out if you take insulin, like, basically you gain weight. So I'm kind of thinking really? the only thing that really makes sense at this point is because I'm taking that, it's preventing me from losing weight because... I've been doing a shit ton of walking and like just active stuff. Is this like your first like months. month of like going back to dieting? Yeah, first month. So and you I lost don't know zero the first month. That's like very rare because normally your first yeah, month is like the biggest month. Dude, mm. not not a single pound. Not a single pound has been lost. Um but something recently I, I've been uh, given like some new medicine that I'm injecting now. Uh God, what's it called? I think it's called like what, what you, all these things you're injecting in your body. I know, bro. I know, bro. So what happens when you fuck bro? around? Injection. <laughs> so I, I'm basically, I've out. been. Th this is quite an interesting topic. So this is something which is specifically supposed to be for people with diabetes, specifically type two diabetes, which is what I have, and it's called Ozempic. And basically, what it does is when you take it. You build up to it, so you start on like a really low dosage, and then you get higher month after month, as long as the doctor says that's okay to do so. Um, and what it does mm -hmm. is it basically helps your body not store fat. Like, it literally does that. But the only trouble with it is, is a bunch of like, a bunch of celebrities, specifically, I think it was like oh, Kim Kardashian. Everyone started advertising how to lose yeah. weight with this bullshit, and so, now you guys are like running low on it, right? Bro, everybody's taking it, so there's there's like there's no supply, right? And yeah, it's supposed it's supposed, it's supposed to be for people who have like diabetes and like have fucked up blood sugars, uh, and then you get all of these fucking Instagram dumbasses trying to take it so they can fit into like a size smaller. But anyways. Um, I literally, I literally started a course of it as of yesterday. So I'm hoping now that I'm taking that, it's going to kind it of take like to, to actually get it and look in your hands. For me, uh, I was, yeah. I was prescribed it from the doctors, so I was able to get it in like a week. 
Okay. Yeah, because so I, I think I, I heard about that in America being like extremely bad right now because they just don't have enough supply and a lot more people are taking them. They're not supposed yeah. to. Yeah. It's the same here in the UK as well. People are like trying to get it and people are selling it for loads. Like I've probably yeah. got a few, I've probably got like a grand down in the fridge. Do you know what I mean? Like it's crazy, but obviously yeah, I'm not got a new revenue it. stream all of a sudden. <laughs> here we yeah, go. Dude. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, you but, can't but, publicly talk about <laughs> But what I'm thinking is like now that I've taken that, obviously it takes a while for this stuff to kind of do anything, but I'm hoping that this is going to help. Like, and it, it should, it should at the very least like counteract the fact that I'm, Putting insulin into my body, if that makes sense. So, I'm not yeah, a mad the, the adverse side things. effects is yeah. Do you um mm. do you mm. fast at all, by the way, Rakesy, or can you not fast? Do you do diabetes? I don't know how that works. I mean, I kind of, I I usually eat I, like all of my food within an eight hour window, anyways. So I guess technically that mm. would be fasting, but just not extreme. My question to you though is, what kind of foods do you eat? Because I think that plays a huge role because like you know the idea yeah. of like uh, you know what i mean i always i think there's a stereotype like, where you know some people be like yeah i'm eating lean yeah i'm eating uh you know a lot of salad but then they dress their their salad with like hundreds yeah. of calories of you know sauce so it's like that doesn't yeah, really yeah. help in that case you know so what so, have you been eating you know yeah i know i get what you're saying so my breakfast almost every single day is two pieces of wholemeal toast uh, and two poached eggs. Um, and then I'll usually have another sandwich or something for lunch. And then in the evening, typically it will be some kind of fresh meat, whether that's like salmon, chicken, like pork medallions, like it was tonight. And then I'll have, say, nine times out of ten, rice. Uh, if it's not rice, maybe on a rare occasion, it might be some chips that are cooked in like the air fryer. Like I never eat deep fat fried stuff. I never have loads of sauce. Um, very you know rarely burgers eat, eat out. Yeah. Very rarely. Like, I mean, yeah. here in the UK, because I, I live the closest like fast food place to me is like 10 miles away. So like, mm. I have to really want it if I'm going to go get it. And they mm. don't deliver it either where I live because I live. Yeah, wait, so you don't have country. you don't have like DoorDash and Uber Eats and shit, do you? Not where I'm at. No, not where I'm at. Bro, bro, oh, that's that's kind of nice. Don't, <laughs> we don't even have Uber, let alone Uber Eats. Like they don't even Uber around here. So like we we live out in the sticks. Yeah, they, they ride like sheep and shit over there. You you know. <laughs> <laughs> but but my point is like my my diet nutrition wise, I would say that yeah, I probably bad. eat. I think it's I, okay. It's yeah. it's good because I pretty much kept on like the bodybuilding kind of meals like rice, broccoli, and just meat since I did that years ago because I just like it. I guess for me, my my issue is more like portion sizes. But again, for the last, like, just over a month now, I've been cutting back. I don't snack anymore. Uh, I have smaller portions and still really struggled to get even a pound off, which is crazy. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, Yo, it's a bit I'd of a bummer, really. It, it sucks, hey, but I, say, I think that... I'd say sorry. replace some of that with some vegetables, because I didn't hear a single bit of fiber oh. in, in that in that diet man you know yeah you know yeah, i didn't some, include some vegetables man i mean i i usually eat like yeah I usually eat like broccoli green beans and like just leafy greens of... get some leafy greens my guy you know what it's like a... salad no i don't i don't really i like, like, like some salad cooked, occasionally with a cooked sandwich. leaf greens you know not like you know i mean salad's okay it does the same thing right but like you know where, where's those leafy I... greens at you know like, yeah we don't really we don't really have that Oh, yeah, that, I used that's to so it works for me, right bro. There, dude. Yeah, because I used to be like two twenty five, and I went down again to like my high school at a one. Hey, what's wrong with two twenty five, bro? No, nothing. But like for my build, you know, you got like <laughs> massive fucking packs and shit, bro. I can't lift anything. You know what I mean? This was just gamer weight. You know, this PK your weight. Uh, uh, and I, I haven't I been two twenty five since like grade ten, probably. Uh, oh, I guess but, you'll share yours in a second here. Yeah, sure. We'll share all our health stories. That's what they came for, huh? RuneScape for health stories. But um, that would be a great topic. Alkin's a. I would. Great um, for that. I I stopped drinking beer. I switched to vodka if I wanted to drink. I wouldn't eat in the morning at all. I uh, and then I stopped eating at like around 10 p.m. at night. Wait, what's between vodka and beer? Is it like less calories? Vodka zero calories, which is uh, weird. Right, was maybe it healthy for you then, eh? No, not at all. I'm just saying, <laughs> if I wanted to drink, no beer. I would go vodka if I needed to. Right, um, it just destroy your liver. But yeah, yeah. but it's not like I'm. It's, I'm just saying, like if I want, I'll pay for that later, bro. It's all good. 
and then a shit ton of water. And then I go on a walk at least Good. four out of seven days a week. And uh, I just, I lost it so fast. And honestly, having that eating window of not eating in the morning all the time, like I don't even get hungry in the, in the morning anymore. I'll just wake up and feel super energized, but I don't know about yeah, once, once you start fasting, fasting the, uh, the window for that. like fasting, once you start doing it, it, you start with like an eight hour window and then you eventually go to like seven then six. And then like, you can live off of four and like three of them. It gets, I think I went through that phase a while ago, but you get very used to it. It feels as like your you stomach shrinks like kind of. A couple days a week. Like some people, yeah, like Alkin said, do that every day and they're probably going to live forever. But yo, maybe like, I'll be like, okay, I feel like not eating this day. I'll, I'll be good today or whatever. And I'll know two days a week or something. And it fucking just works. And you feel amazing. That's when I get all my editing out of the way too. Cause you just have so much energy in the morning. It's almost annoying. If you have nothing to do, you're like, I want to relax. Just fucking buzzing and shit. Like it's just so much energy in the morning when you fast. But I honestly have no idea how diabetes and fasting, like I, I don't know much about diabetes though. So I couldn't recommend it. You'd have to talk to a doctor. Yeah. Like mm. to be honest with you, like to like on a real note, I think my body is very fucked up in all honesty. And it's cool. Cause I've done it to myself, but it's one of those things where it's like, it ain't quite making sense. Um, but I'm hoping that with this new uh, this new injection I'm taking, we'll see. It it should it should help a lot. If it doesn't, like they're just gonna keep up in the dosage until it does. Like it's proven to help. So you said you had we'll, type two we'll or something. Happen, so. Yeah, I've got type two. Is that like so mostly genetic normally or what? No, type one's genetic. Type, type two, one. yeah. Type type two isn't genetic. So it, so how do you just, like uh, bad, bad get dieting. it over time? Is this like sugar yeah. related then? Yeah. So I'm so mine's a little bit different so it wasn't like to be honest with you i ended up getting diagnosed with something called pancreatitis okay mm -hmm. and i don't know if you like know what that is but effectively um it's what sick nerd had i don't know if you follow sick nerd but he had yeah, it yeah. a while back when he was in hospital and stuff like that so my pancre pancreas basically started fucking up and it started like shooting shit into my body where it shouldn't have been um but the, the, it's hard for me to really like describe accurately what happened to me because nobody's given me an explanation and I've basically just been told like these things sometimes just don't get answered because effectively what happened to me doesn't really make sense because basically for, for people to get pancreatitis, you're either an alcoholic, which I'm not, and I barely fucking drink ever, or you're like an old person pretty yeah. much for the most part so i don't fit into either of those categories so i do know what actually like caused the whole thing was um oh what's it called it's called like a triglyceride i think it is your triglyceride level triglyceride which i believe something yeah triglyceride? yeah which i glycerite yeah. so glycerite i believe right it's something like that yeah something like that and i believe it's something to do with the amount of uh the amount of fat in your bloodstream i'm pretty sure Okay, so I'm pretty sure that was the reason with everything that happened to me. And it turns out that I was just undiagnosed with diabetes, so I didn't know about it. So effectively what happens, my triglyceride levels went crazy. And then my blood sugars went crazy. And I went into, uh, I can't remember the word, it's called like hypoglycy something. Hypoglycomic? Um, Maybe? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Which is basically what happens to a diabetic when they don't check their, their blood sugars. Um, and I had to spend like a month in hospital because of it and stuff. Like I was in intensive care for two weeks. Yeah, dude, I didn't sleep. Oh, your face was super puffy? Yeah, dude. His man like thought dude, he died. you had to see my body. Dude. My body was like square at the time, bro. It was fucked. But I didn't yeah. sleep. Dude, I didn't sleep for 10 days. I didn't eat for almost two weeks. And when I finally did eat, they fed me through a tube that was going up my nose into my stomach, into my small stomach, which is like deep inside your stomach. There's like a small part to it. Oh. And they literally would just have the food like dripping through into there. It was fucked, oh bro. My God. It was fucked. The, imagine, <laughs> dude, the, the imagination of, of that description. Oh, yeah. oh, dude. No, but the, the worst <laughs> thing is like, so I, Gosh. so my body basically just, if it wasn't for the, the doctors and the, the healthcare, I would be dead. Like, 100%. There was no surviving that. Um, at one point, I had, like, tubes all up in me. 
uh, and I had like a bag which would fill with my stomach bile. By the way, I'm sorry if I'm making this all about myself, but you guys seem quite interested in this. Yeah. So I had a bag that was filled with, and dude, listen, I don't know if you've ever seen stomach bile, and I don't know if this is normal, but mine was green. Okay, like I was literally seeing the bile inside of my body. I don't even I'm telling you know right now, that existed, dude. Bro, I, I remember being led in the hospital bed, and I remember just looking at this shit, and I was just like, man, if I was on like a battlefield, or anybody was on a battlefield, and they get sliced open, and they see green shit coming out of their body, you're done. It's game over. There's no, there's no coming or so back. So you're like sliced in half if you're fucking. Hey, right, see, treasure out, your <laughs> life from yeah. now on, brother. You know, <laughs> I'm sure you already knew but, that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but basically what was happening is when I was drinking, I would have to be sick. And it's because my body just stopped working, basically. So they had to do all this stuff and put tubes inside of me so that I would stop being sick, but the bile would come out. And then they'd have to empty that bile out, like every time the bag got full, or otherwise I would be sick. Um, but long story short, it's just a case of like, I, I think that where, and I haven't been diagnosed with this, but I think that where over the years my diet has like yo-yoed, tremendously when it comes to eating like i definitely have issues when it comes to like like eating food and stuff i have some i don't know what they call it i don't what's the word when you like you have like a problem with food picky oh, no, 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 no like, like, like like a like a like a medical condition like oh. a relationship with food is bad i don't know what the allergy? word is it's not coming to mind like an <laughs> allergy <laughs> Price, you're real good at this. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it could be an allergy. Food allergies are a thing. So, I don't I, know. I, I, like I, anorexic I, and there's a food, a food disorder. Is uh, basically food disorder. What I'm okay, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. So, where I fucked around so much in the past and being super fit and then got super fat and then got super fit again, like your body, for the most part, doesn't do good when it goes from the polar opposites too much. And I, I think that somewhere in there, like something must have fucked up. Does that make sense? Could be stress but, too. Things like that. Oh, 100%. Stressing and all that could, could play a role, you know? I stress eat a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think something I was doing a lot, and it's good to be aware of this stuff, is like, if I was bored, I would eat. Yeah, you know what I mean? No, that's, Which is comfort that's eating. That's like bad. comfort eating 101. That's and really, that's something yeah, that's that I would just bad. do. Mm -hmm. and, and it's also a case of like, what? so why is it you do that? It's like, why do you eat when you're bored? It's because you're trying to make yourself feel different and not bored. E.g., you're trying to make yourself feel well, they happy. They say boredom is on the cups of uh, disgusting, right? Like, boredom and disgust are the same emotion almost. So when you're bored, you feel disgusted. So you just got to get out of it. You want to get out of it, yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. With, yeah. with the way that we our brains are wired because of all the technology. We're just, we want to be stimulated at mean. all times, you know? And that's kind of rough. Yeah, you know, in today's age, like if you don't have good self control, it's gonna definitely spiral out of control. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I, I remember it all happened, right? So it happened in January, mm -hmm. January the third, I think it was. And like we all know is because we're YouTubers, like December is the busiest month. It's like ad revenue's good. You wanna try to get as many videos out as possible. It's like you basically mm -hmm. wanna have a good December to take the rest like the next few months off where the ad revenue's low. Like just take it off. Take you know, let it let it chill a little bit. So I remember I was so stressed in December, just like stressing about everything. Like I need to fucking work. I yeah, need to get no content podcasts. out. I need to get videos. Yeah, there's barely podcasts because we're just so busy working on our main channels. And then in December, December's like, bro, we can go on vacation. We can chill out. We can do whatever. And I, I think that my body kind of knew that. It was kind of like I went from being so busy and stressed to then just like, oh, I can breathe. And then my body was just like, nah, you're not good, bro. You need to go to the hospital. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 it just, you, it you, just fucks me up. You reached your limit early on before you even finished, basically. Yeah. Yeah. But no, nah, it definitely, it definitely was like a big, a big wake up call for me. To be honest, it wasn't, it wasn't a pleasant experience. It was pretty fucking rough. Uh, mm. Like, I don't, I know, I don't really go into the detail too much of it, but like, bro, the pain was. Uh, like I've never experienced anything like that. Like it was just, it was just bad. You know, it was rough. Yeah. I, I mean, I had a catheter in for like a month, man. That's the wiener one, right? That's where they put it down your dick, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. Those go deep, it. bro. Bro, Did it's you not your balls or not. Wait, Dude, you had what done? A cat, cat, the catheter. Yeah. Yes, big tube up your dick. Yep. 
for like a month, bro. A month? <laughs> Holy. Like, you know, like, 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 minutes, variant bro. sensations bro, that but, mortals should not, you know? So they yeah. fucked up as well because they thought God. I was going home. They were like, oh, you're going to go home tomorrow, so we're going to take the catheter out. Bro, it's like the most painful shit, man. I'm like gripping onto the side of the bed. Oh, God. Hospital beds, they're like yeah. fucking taken out, like shaking. And oh, it's just yeah. awful. But but the pain's so intense, but as soon as it's over, it's over. Like five seconds and God. you forget that it even was there. God, yeah. But then the next day, they're like, oh, we made a mistake. You're not going home yet. They're like, we're going to have to. They can't like put you under for a bit when they take the shit out? Well, I mean, they can, but they're not going to waste, you know, what this in the UK, it's free healthcare. So I guess if I was private, I could have been, you know, put me under to do it. Maybe. A lot of people have it put in and taken out when they're under. Yeah. I had to do it when I was conscious. But yeah, it was awful. It was not good. And I, yeah. I, I didn't want it the second time. I was like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> like, I just, I'll get up and piss every time I need to piss. But for me, it was, there was a whole issue with like my, my body and like how much was going out and how much was coming in. So having the catheter in was a really, really easy way of measuring how much liquid was coming out of me. So I had a doctor convince me that it was the best thing to do. My so dick hurts. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah I, I, but no, you know, dude, man. it was, yeah. do, do, you know, do you know what, man? I've never, it was, I, I went from being so stressed out in December and like not being able to work enough hours in the day in order to like, you know, get ends meet to literally sitting in a hospital bed not being able to sleep for 10 days and just watching the world pass me by you know yeah, and i just, you just gotta accept that you just need some time yeah. off in general and Yo, everything I'm will like, be all right be, um, that was it dude yeah i do want to talk more about the stress topic but like you know because we're on the whole uh exercise health topic i you know love to hear from from Alkin, because he's the lead, one of the leads in the RuneScape community, I'd say, or uh, or, or, or had, you know, the knowledge. So, but yeah, before we get to him, though, I just want to say, like, when it, when it comes to like the whole work balance, you know, some people like to, like you said, you go all in for a certain period, and then once you're out, you know, you can do whatever else. I, I personally don't don't take that approach because in my in my personal experience. Well, you know, then again, I, I I often don't go all in in one month. So what I like to do is, you know, I like to try to portion my day, right? Like I always like to try to do some editing every day or some scripting or, or you know, some recording, right? I'll just try to get a chunk of it done every day, but I'll always try to reserve a few few hours to do some other stuff too because I don't know why I, I necessarily need to crunch time when you when you are literally your own boss, you know what I mean, right? Like, you can, that's the scary part you know, about you being your own boss. Yeah. Right? yeah, it is. It is. That's why it's hard. Yeah, you feel like you're I wasting mean, time, yeah. and then when you're working, you feel like you're overworked. Yeah, no, yeah. it's hard. I mean, it's hard. But but the thing is, right? There's also the opposite, right? Of being your own boss is that you can, if you master balancing it, you you don't necessarily need to crunch time that hard. Because even when I was working on like that video, that's a, that was like an hour, ten minutes long, and like I literally spent a month working on it. Every day, I still had some time to do other things, you know, to relieve myself of, like, Dudes. the grind, right? Like, just to get away from it, you know? Sometimes I go on a run or whatever. Sometimes I, I watch a show. You know what I mean? I still Yo, have some cup. of those. But, I, I, listen, but when you a get a girlfriend yeah. or a partner, mm -hmm. whichever way you swing, that's fine. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. find that balance, bro. It's yeah. It takes up a lot of time having a significant other. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, you, yeah guys, sure. you guys play bro. RuneScape when, like, watching movies and shows, or do you guys log out? Oh, I just AFK oh. like when I'm watching a show, you know. So. I already know what Alkin does, D, with that experience. Oh, I've yeah. never watched yeah. a movie without being on RuneScape. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I sometimes do it. If it's like something oh, I've been shit. waiting for years to come out, then I'll just like, yeah, I'm dropping everything. But 90% of the time, mm. I'll usually just AFK something like like fire, super dumb AFK. And I just watch mm. I just watch the show on the other screen, you know. So that's what I'd like to do. Or, or when I'm yep. eating, you know, I pop up a show mm. on my little, um, you know, those... Those tablets you know just watch from there so man if i yeah, straight up i think if i didn't have a partner i would probably be able to work like an extra 40 hours a week to be honest with you yeah probably like blaming your yeah. girlfriend or or your fiance now huh? absolutely your, yes yes wait you got no, engaged when uh last year no, yeah. no, no, yeah, yeah. About last year, sometime we got engaged. Are you gonna fly yeah. us off for the you wedding? Like thirty right? days ago, or like actual last year? Like last, <laughs> yeah, the start of last year. But you know, it's ago, it's I one remember. of those things of like yeah. trying to fit a balance between like work 
and then also not neglecting your significant other, which is like very easily done in a game like RuneScape, which requires like a lot make of time. Her an editor. Of hours. Yeah, it takes a lot of time. You need an ed editor, do you say? No, make her an editor. You know, but start <laughs> putting in the in the work here, Maybe. lady. You know? What what does Maybe, she uh, do for work? Oh, she she works full time, so she she's a manager. Ah. She ba yeah, so she she's like busy as well. You know, so we're both like busy, but it's just How's making it feel that feel to date a RuneScaper. Did she ever get asked that shit? <laughs> How, yeah, what, I mean, no, I, I, mean, I think you could do it once a week, you know, spend more time than, than you. I don't know. I'm not an expert, but I'm just saying, like, I feel like I'm the telling whole, you, I feel like Rice the whole Cup, I, I'm thing. looking forward to the day yeah. you get a partner. And yeah, I, I, I want to see how much time you spend with them versus, like, because it's hard, bro, getting that balance. Oh, like, yeah, no, I'm not up, saying it's, it's easy. I'm not saying it's easy, but I, I'm saying, like, what I found works best is, is to not crunch time as much and, like, just, you know, be responsible with every day, right? And, like, try to do a bit of every. You know, use every day to do a bit of some of your work. Because, yeah, like, you know, like, you don't need weekends necessarily or weekdays. I miss that concept, but it, 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 it does make it nice. Like, I don't, I get, I don't, it's not like I don't get stressed out, but, like, I, my stress is usually, like, fairly minor, I guess. It just goes away after, like, a bit. Because I realize, like, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm getting another video out pretty soon. It's, it's not like I need to wait a month or whatever. It's just, like, you, you're doing a bit of every you know everything involved with a content creation a day just not your whole day right i try never to like spend the whole day on it because um yeah like i you know you, there's other stuff you, you, uh, you gotta do you know to balance your day day-to-day -day life right so yeah see i've never i've never i know exactly what you're saying i've never done it like that i feel like you gotta wait till I like guess... the last moment <laughs> kind of thing well, or well what? it's 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 not that it's just like i don't always feel creative so yeah. like, there's some days where I'm just like, I'm not even going to try to edit a video today because I'm just not feeling it. And then there's other days where I'm just like buzzing with creativity and I'm like, okay, I want to make something. Like, let's put all this shit together. And then I'll just do like a... I get that know, quite a bit. A, a day mm. session of editing and just like smash it all out. Mm. How, uh, what's your stress for whenever like your last video is uploaded? When do you guys start to panic? How, like, how long it's been? Oh, Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. I'm, trying, I'm, trying really, I'm trying to really like. The next you know. day. <laughs> I have I have this voice in my head saying, "You're a PKer. Go out and kill people, bitch. Get a video out, even if the video oh, just bro. came out the other day." And I'm like, "Dude, no. Take wait, a couple wait, wait, sorry. Get a good can idea." You, can you ask that question again? Because um, like it's a big one. There's like there's a lot in, in it. How good long question. for at least you guys specifically? Do you start to panic that you haven't released a video? Oh, you haven't yet. released the video. Like two weeks ago is your last video, three weeks ago, one week yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. I mean nowadays I, I wanna put something out like every ten days, you know? Like That'd be great. Yeah, yeah. That's what I like. I mean back when I like, you know, the early years of just making videos to make videos, I was like dude, it was like every four days or something. You yeah, know? dude, I remember <laughs> yeah. that. I remember Holy that. crap. I, I I mean there was just so much to do, but now I'm just like, you know, I just wanna focus more on quality now, you know? And and just I, I think I, I think yeah. streaming definitely takes away from the uh, like potential to do it every four days. Yeah, yeah. You, you could oh, yeah. record yeah. a lot more when yeah. you're not streaming. Yeah, streaming, uh, you know, I've I love it, you know? Like, um I used to, you know, do it like five, six days a week or whatever, right? Um, just just because I, I just felt that commitment, but at the same time, it really does take away from your ability to make videos. So I mean, this year I, you know, I changed my plans a bit. I'm like, okay, you know what? I feel like four streams a week is is actually the best because that extra day off is like amazing. You know, it, it lets me relax and think about you get everything ideas. done in those days. Ideas, off. yeah. You get you get you think more more about your ideas and what you want to do. You have more time mm -hmm. to breathe. You just have more time to do other stuff, and that's been amazing. And I noticed the streams don't even necessarily get worse because like people are like they miss you more they're like oh wow you know i haven't seen you in like two days you know like i usually only i usually see you every day right so they're like they're like more engaged and i'm like more energetic to energetic. socialize you yeah. know so i i think i found my my better balance i don't know if it's the perfect balance but i've noticed that overall like it's significantly better for for my well-being you know like my enjoyment and stress and things like that just four streams a week which means there's two days off in a row, and then there's like a one day off somewhere, and 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 it works great so far. So I'm, I've been digging it, but it, yeah, yeah, streaming can definitely get uh impact the the YouTube you know process, the YouTube flow. I I noticed it did for me because five five streams yeah, a week was that. hard to. I think uh I think it. like yeah two years ago I think I did like a 600 day in a row stream thing. 
Yeah, well, I only you're, took you're, off. You're crazy. <laughs> I only took off like RuneFest pretty much, and I think one or two sick days between that, like six hundred days. And yeah, it was definitely. Wait, I mean, I barely uploaded any videos back then, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's so hard happened. to do videos. It's impo Well, it's not impossible, but you have to literally be a machine to do. Twitch you, you just every like after YouTube. It's mad. Yeah, you just like shut off after a stream sometimes. You just don't want to talk at all. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. bro. Yeah, like, fuck that. I'm tired. Yeah, I think it's... I think for me the idea ideal amount of time is like two weeks, like probably ten days to two weeks. Yeah. Whenever whenever that like up your last video creeps to the three weeks ago, that's when I panic and I'm like, oh fuck. three weeks, yeah, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah. I'm like shit. I need to I need to pull this out the fucking bag right I'm, now. But... I'm panicking right now, bro. And I uploaded four videos last week when the update came bro, out. Bro, you did one like every day, bro. Yeah, yeah, and right now I'm like panicking, thinking. And I'm thinking I'll probably take my time now, yeah. right, to get in a better mindset, get better content. But like, yeah. I'm thinking, mm -hmm. no, if you wanted to, you could push yourself and get a lot more videos out. Or maybe this is what you got to do. Because, I mean, shit, man, it's it's a job where you control every aspect of it, right? Only you are your own boss. So exactly. I get in my head a lot where it's like, do I take a break? Do I chill? Do I deserve to take a break? And I don't know. Dude. My, don't my know. We'll personal see. rule is that you deserve to take a few hours of every day to do whatever else you want you know that that's that's what i always tell myself because like why why would you not right you're on your own you're your own boss but re be responsible with your content but like be responsible with your time because you have a lot of time and there's just no don't, way just don't pull like a devious or something yeah <laughs> what what was a devious what's the man pull? Yeah, he just pulls away for like four months comes back <laughs> yeah oh yeah he but like he, isn't he like the world's best fucking call of duty player or something <laughs> he's, a, he's, a yeah, he's just mastering some other game over there yeah, in that corner creators, comes back makes yeah. another iron man bro, yeah, bro he, types... gonna, he needs to monetize that some way like or like join like phase or something i think Maybe he tried with it. streaming but i it just it's so hard to fucking like grow like just randomly yeah. out of like a different category oh it is yeah. oh for sure yeah that's no, also sure. i think that's why i'm like yeah why am i doing like five streams a week it's not like I'm really growing, you know, like, right? Like, it's like, there's only so yeah, many viewers it's on definitely like a, <laughs> you know? It's a lot easier to push harder if, like, you see a huge growth. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, like, oh, it's, it's like, it's always the same amount of viewers, you know, for the past few years, and, and RuneScape is, like, you know, the, the viewership is not necessarily doubling in size anytime soon, mm -hmm. you know? So I realized, yeah, like, there's a lot of people yeah. online right now, eh? Yeah, yeah, player base-wise is good, but stream-wise, yeah. I noticed it's kind of, like, you know, it's usually the same viewers, right? It's like once in a while a new new guy shows up and you're like, Wow, new guy. But then like ninety nine percent of the time it's just Welcome you know. to our home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ninety nine percent of the time is the dude that you talked to like two years ago. He's still here, you know? Yeah. Yeah, which well, is great. Funny. I love that. I love the fact that it's like you were, this, you were talking yeah, about I mean, like how you get really motivated with a push, and all I did was watch you, Alkin, when Old School RuneScape came back out, and I feel like that was the biggest push most of the content creators back then got. What did what did it feel like back then? Upload to play the game again. Uh, I don't know if wait, 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 wait. I never took a break when EOC came out. Yeah. Well, okay, you, you so you didn't not. take a break, but I imagine that the push when Old School RuneScape came out was insane motivation, right? Or now. Well, it was just like, I guess it wasn't like a race to max. It was just like being a high level, content. I guess. Yeah, you did hybrid content I, for a while. I, I you used got to a bunch of first. You got the first whip, didn't you? The first dark. No, not bell? the first. Not the first. You were close. I mean, you were there. I, I, mean, was, I was within the top five, maybe. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it was sick items. when I saw you like upload. Oh, we got whips now. You know, I, I think Rune Shark was. Rune Shark yeah. was a second whip, but the first 85 Slayer. Yeah. I I think what they were working together though, like like I think Simon was making James like cannonballs and shit. I didn't have that, so my Slayer didn't go up as much. Yeah. Mm. But uh, yeah, I was probably like top five. I might have been one of the first to camp Dark Bros though, because most people stopped at. 85. I remember that video. I remember that you were just you were just yeah. Like I, I think I got time. four Dark Bros in yeah. one video. They were like fourteen mil, eighteen mil, uh, and like twelve mil. And that's back when like that was like a Bill R. I yeah. watched your video of the dark bow and I had an Obi Mauler and I go at the edge and I swear to God, the second you sold one, I died to one that day. I was like, was this fucking <laughs> Alkin's dark bow? Bro? There's only a couple in the game. Yeah. I just died with 20 mil item. Uh, so Alkin, how many hours a day do you play? Um, it, it varies. I think in the summertime I play a lot less because like I live in Canada. So it's like winter time is not very fun. Yeah. Uh, right now, probably anywhere from ten to well, anywhere from eight to twelve. I'd say sometimes even fourteen. Yeah. Oh okay. my god, yeah, that's that like sounds, you're just sounds chilling. Expected. 
That was expected. Yeah. But you're not summertime, overexerting think, uh, yourself. You're just playing. Yeah. Summertime, oh I think I play like, like this summer that passed already. Last summer, I guess I probably played at the most like ten on average, probably like seven. I'd say. So I was I was going to the gym every day. I was doing long walks every day after my gym. I was sleeping a bit more because of it, obviously, and I just cared a bit less about RuneScape. So I kind of like got out of the rhythm there. So at this point, would you what what's like your main motivation for playing RuneScape? Like, is it? Oh, like, I'm addicted. You're still addicted. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> that, 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 this is an addiction, bro. This ain't healthy. I think for me, it's okay, become okay. yeah. Like, I can relate to Alkin because like we both grind. All, like to make videos like all the time right so it's, well, you it's guys just like more about, skilling that, yeah, that's the interesting thing like, you know skillers. it's a we're always doing progression based stuff so i mean like i i probably play similar times but like you know but the thing is to me it's more of like a automatic um you know kind of like muscle memory thing right because i just like log into the account and i just do something afk right most of the time yeah, i just much. do my action stuff on on stream so that's like you know a good like i said four times a, a week i'll do you know so that's like 30 hours of like really like just hard pushing like bossing but then most of the time i'm still on runescape just not streaming i'll just be afking right or you know just chill chilling basically the thing is like so you both nice. play iron man and i feel like if you're playing an iron man like you're kind of playing it's like more mandatory battle. to play a few more hours yeah yeah, yeah no it's you, like you i love it i love it though because like i love the fact that um you can just always afk and do something Without you yeah, doing no, something, get it. right? Yeah, without you actually doing it, right? It's like so. Like for for me, it's great. very different because like I I don't mind doing progressing, but like I'm definitely not a skiller. Like I don't get much satisfaction out of XP. Mm -hmm. Um, but then it's like I can do whatever I want whenever I want. So it's like if I want to go and I don't know do Bandos, like I can log in and go kill Bandos. Like I can buy the pots, I can buy the supplies, etc. Um, so yeah, I so think those it's types like, of yeah. things I already have like unlimited supplies of. <laughs> nowadays yeah <laughs> but, oh, uh, i mean i think has like 10k restores and like 30k brews or something <laughs> so i'm normally fine with things like that so, wait what are things that you guys run out of because i know that rice cup ran out of like dragon arrows for oh we don't even i don't even use dragon arrows those things are not really easy to get yeah i used uh, them up and i regret it pro probably so. blood runes and soul runes are like the main two these days yeah i mean i just fish anglers or i just afk woodcut you know for clue scrolls to be honest and maybe for like a pet chance so it's nothing you know i'm not really looking for resources nowadays because jack is just like every new boss just gonna drop all the seats for y'all you know all the all the secondaries yeah, that you have it's it, been you know, pretty enjoy. Spooned, man you know i'm just like <laughs> all right you know okay yeah they just i mean i, I know it, the, i guess i know blood runes are like a huge thing a concern for iron men because you guys just can't get enough of them do you, do you think they're ever Honestly, gonna do anything though, that, else for blood I, runes i think that used to be a thing i don't think it's wait mean, what, I don't wait, think what did you say I, I said blood runes have always been like an issue for iron men right like you guys can't get enough of them and i said do you think that they're ever going to put like some like more ways of obtaining them super easy into the game or do you think that we've got everything we need now oh no no we've... i think um oh, okay. i think for sure like i know people blame iron man for like a lot of things but i do think <laughs> blood runes are only at the current price they're at is due to iron man true blood altar would have probably never came out if iron man wasn't a thing because there's no the only reason true blood altar came out was because they were trying to find an alternative method to instead of giving us blood rune packs at the store to buy for iron man they wanted mm -hmm. us to rune craft their own so they brought us a true blood altar which made it go from like 2k blood runes an hour to like 7k and then i think the rune crafting outfit giving us 60 percent blood or 60 percent extra runes when rune crafting was probably an iron man thing too i think if iron man wasn't a thing that outfit would have probably given us like 20 percent at the very most yeah. so i think I think with those two things that they added to the game was strictly mostly for Iron Man, but it also benefited main accounts because of, uh, I mean, main accounts use size probably more than Iron Man do. Yeah, no, yeah. for sure. Honestly, I don't yeah. think Blood Runes has been an issue for the last, like, two years. It was an issue when uh, N Nightmare was, like, kind of like the, the the big PVM content that people used yeah. to do, right? And, and uh, the, also, the staff coming out definitely changed a lot. Yeah, I think and, I think we're gonna have a true soul altar very soon. Oh yeah, probably. It makes sense. There's no you know, doubt. Right? No it's doubt like, in my it's mind. like the next tier anyway, so it's like perfect. You know, it's like chronologically. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just like honestly, it's not a big deal anymore. There's so many ways to make blood runes in mass. You also have like the the blood essence. You know, that free blood runes basically while you make it, you get 
you get extra on top. Yeah, I wonder if Blood Essence were created because they thought about Iron Man too. They probably like why? Did. Why I, Blood's I, out I of all? Surprised, you know. I, Dude, the I next thing. Surprised. Yeah. The next thing is they're gonna add like one of those demi bosses from the uh, Desert Treasure Two quest, and it just like the rare drop is literally just like ten thousand blood runes. <laughs> they're oh, gonna do yeah. something like that. Dude, I mean, the, ca the caches, dude, like from TOA, they already give you randomly like two K blood runes, so or whatever, right? I think I, got, I think I got like thirty eight hundred blood runes from one like recently. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I don't even know what their max amount that they can give you is, but it seems that's like near. Yeah, it. let's just say my runecrafting XP stopped in the thirty mils for a year or two now. I just haven't really needed to. Yeah, that was a it was a real Man. thing though when I was grinding nightmare because like I was scything like I was using scythe so often back then. Now I barely use it. I barely touch it. You know, like, going yeah. back in time, I think there was a period of time when I was younger when I feel like I could have got into skilling, like, for real. Because, I mean, I remember as, like, you know, when we're all noobs back in the day, like, I remember making nature runes. I remember doing that for money. And it was just like, this is a good, w like, you'd buy a pure essence for 100 GP, and then you'd sell mm. the nature rune for, like, two, 300, whatever it was, so you'd profit, right? But eventually these gold dudes turned up and they'd give you double the amount of nature runes so you stopped getting XP. But like, there there was times when I feel like I didn't, I do look back at like some skilling when I was younger and I do think like, oh, it was a good time. Like fishing, especially fishing. Yeah. Like no. fishing sharks at like 76 fishing, I think it is. 1k each, like, baby. <laughs> hell yeah. It was but like, it was always for money. Like it was always for money. Like that was always my incentive in the game was just make money. Money equals fun. You know what I mean? It was never the other way around. It was never like skilling equals fun. So I, I just I'm curious, like Alkin, how did you how do you think you became like addicted to the XP? Because that's like your main thing, right? You just love skilling. Uh the competitiveness of like the high score ranks, I think probably. Right, I see. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. If so, there was like I don't know if there's any like PKing version of it, but like I don't, do you ever look at like, your boss high scores and feel the same way about that or no? Nah, boss high scores shit. Oh, really? To be honest, it honestly boss high scores like. <laughs> I wish it was something like that for PK, dude. <laughs> back in back in Bounty Hunter, there was a way to where you could boost your your uh, rank, and I remember going out to Edgeville and I hit the little lever and I go out and there's a guy named Randy and I'm like, oh shit, is rank one unofficial Bounty Hunter? Yeah, he's, he's killing a guy out there. I was like, what's he killing? It was an account called Randy Jr. And I'm thinking, bro, <laughs> if you're going to fucking boost, at least <laughs> name your account something other than Randy Jr. Oh and my uh, gosh. yeah, it's all he did 24 7, just boost I his think, skills. I think that's the problem inherently with trying to do like a high scores for PvP is that there's always a way to boost it. Whereas with skilling, it's like you just put the hours in and you get the XP. Like the only way you can really cheat is by botting, and you'd hope that Jag X would find the bot and ban the bot. Yeah, you know, if you're like a personal bot where like you just do it to gain your accounts like levels, you'll eventually get caught anyway, so it's just a waste of time. Yeah. Oh man, you, you gotta look on the fresh start world like high scores where I swear. So with fresh start worlds, I'm still playing. I don't even know if half the people watching even know what that is. But because it wasn't like a major success, they have just abandoned this bitch. And there are just bots, bro. I, be, like, I was at Nightmare yeah. Zone yesterday for six hours, and there was a dude whose auto clicker fucked up, and he was just sat outside for six hours. That's and I'm like just the like, swapping rate or something, or is like a swapping rate going great, on? Bro. Oh no, it's not even that. It's just it, it, like if you want a ball, Fresh Start Worlds is the server to yeah, be. Yeah, there's probably no detection on there yet. Maybe they're not looking. The, dude, there's there's amethyst mining bots that have like get worse after you said hundreds this, right? of millions of mining XP. It's crazy, but Jagex aren't even checking it, bro. Like, it genuinely, it's either a case of they've just completely abandoned ship on it, or their bot detection is just zilch. They but have yeah, nothing. There might just literally be no bot detection on Fresh Start Worlds, because Jax wouldn't have thought that people would start botting it, but since it's going to become a normal account anyways, if you can bot I mean, for longer without getting banned, I can see why people would start botting there. I yeah. saw a pure yesterday in Fresh Start Worlds at Nightmare Zone, and it was 100% a bot, and I was like... Man, if you want to make like a pure or anything right now, like Fresh Start Worlds is the world to do it if you're gonna bot it because you're just gonna get a good account and it's gonna be like banned yeah, for they, it. Yeah, 
Yeah. Who are you trying to help? Look at the right. I'm, I'm trying. Hopefully, you're sitting there right now, bro. Dude, I'm open if anybody <laughs> at Jagex gives a fuck. They can come on this server and just get rid of all of the trash that is I, devaluing that people that are plan, genuinely dude. playing. Yeah, that might be the plan. That's, that's why <laughs> I'm saying this stuff. I'm trying to put them on blast. It's just, it's pathetic. It's they, all they should do it uh, the last day before it's removed. Just ban everyone. Because they're, probably, yeah, yeah. they're probably thinking about transferring it over once it becomes a normal account. And just bro, they, they just want to crush them. They just, they just want to kill them f psychologically, you know, their motivations. Like, <laughs> like yes, it's being transferred tonight. And then they, you know, they God. check the next day, like, yo, their account I mean, banned. Like, fuck. <laughs> That'd be great. I, I would love to it, see them do that, you know. You can transfer good. your account whenever you want to, but it would be funny if they did that. And we're yeah, just like, yeah, yeah we, we couldn't detect oh, it. So oh, we I'm waiting everybody. for it. I'm waiting for it, you know? I bet they have something like that, but it still wouldn't fix the amount of money these bots are making. And it's, you know, and then going onto another account and they transfer back in the main game, which isn't a big deal, but it still probably isn't fun for the economy. Yeah. But I sh I'm sure they have something where they check their like, account before they transfer over. That's why it takes like three days. Yeah. The, they, the yeah, thing they is, probably like, vet it out during that process. Yeah. I don't really give two craps about people that are bought in all honesty. Like, I don't care. But what I do care about is I know that there are people that are trying to go for ranks and stuff who do actually care. And they're just getting, like, outbotted 18 hours a day. And it's it, it's pretty rough. No, there's people, people botting high scores, like, total level woodcut. Like, what are they, what are they, what are they going? Like, I mean, are they actually competing? Dude, I think there's account? I think there's bots for like almost everything. And like bro, there are people that are going for max capes. Like people are close to maxing. Like Alkin, you would have probably had a great time on these servers if you were gonna be like, right, I'm gonna max an account in those six months and just like see if it's possible. Because I didn't everybody... have a main account already, I probably would have. I have a main account that's yeah. like two point two bill XP or something and oh, I, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> Yeah, That's fair. yeah. But but a lot of people were saying it was like impossible to max in those six months, but like people are like almost at it like there's a few people on the high list that are i don't, I don't know, think it'd be impossible considering you can use a ge and stuff yeah. and you can obviously mm -hmm. swap money over if you want to buy like uh, yeah it's definitely possible like just like i think not i think the incentive is just not really there though to make it like yeah, I, a I common don't, thing i know? don't know why they didn't make fresh start kind of not similar to rs3 because that one's kind of busted because they gave you like four times the xp and it becomes a main account but I wonder if they were just better off making fresh start worlds where it disappears after, like almost like a league for six months, pretty much. Yeah, because they, they, they could have yeah. done way more and like fun things with it, like double drops, double this, and whatever else. Yeah, they could, they to be all. honest, I, I wouldn't I'm have played sure, it if they did. But they I'm pretty all, sure yeah. it was a, it was like a test, you know, to see how, what this concept, you know, how this concept would would be really. It's, yeah, yeah. It was it, it was just a shot in the dark because apparently it took them like zero dev time basically and it was like well it could be wildly successful. Yeah, it is probably zero dev Do time. Do you know who copied RuneScape by the way after the fresh start? New World, isn't that weird? Oh, did yeah, New World did a fresh start Let's, right after yeah. RuneScape? I mean, oh, but bro, I think no, no, no. I think that they did it for different reasons because there was like massive dupes, right? And like. New World got absolutely destroyed the economy because people were just. Well, it's the still there though. It's I heard that it wasn't like a, a <laughs> whole restart. It's like it was just a server, and then you go into that server or something. But if someone knows in the comments, let let us know because I'm not too detailed. But yeah, I heard it was like yeah, a side we, thing like RuneScape. We gotta give go we gotta give RuneScape some credit because it's still one of the most popular MMOs. So I'm sure all the other companies, even though they they are much bigger. Right, they they probably it's gotta, Amazon, bro. They gotta Amazon take notes. be stealing a, our, they gotta, our ideas yeah, they out gotta here. They got to take some notes from uh, other uh, no established. Shame, huh? yeah, no shame, no shame, no shame. shame. Yeah. Old school RuneScape are killing it, and they yeah. are doing a good job. I just think it's almost traditional RuneScape fashion to abandon ship on something that wasn't majorly successful and just say, ah, fuck it, we'll leave it. Because they've yeah. done this time and time again, bro. And it, I mean, it just to the people still playing, it's just like, man, do they even care? It's like there are people that have invested like three months now and it's like there's bots everywhere and it's like they ain't going anywhere man and there's mining bots that have been there since day one That's like the xp great. those accounts have is just nuts I mean, like, you're, you're talking about fresh start though right specifically fresh start yeah. yeah i i just think that you know it's it's one of those things where like people who are playing just see this side of jagex where it's like yeah they they don't give two craps because this wasn't great this didn't they, turn they out. Definitely they just wanted. abandoned it. They didn't have any reason yeah. to keep looking looking at it. Yeah. I think I think that's yeah. literally it. I might I might make a dedicated video like a Sir Pugger video where I just go find all the bots and I'm like, look at these. You could be a fresh starting hours. Yeah. Yeah. 
The but this is like the bot's paradise. Like boys, if you want a bot, come oh to Fresh God. Start World. Oh my Make God. a new account. It will not get banned, guaranteed. <laughs> it's just 10x worse after this video. It's just yeah, swarmed, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, someone, oh, someone just make sure jackets. you play sad music in the background for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need that side violin. But you no, you're right. Jagger, Jagger started killing it in terms of like the MMORPG space. Like they're actually doing stuff like not many other MMORs are. Like they're actually trying to come up with new. Like, like if you think about like the mechanics in old school RuneScape, like think back like ten, you know, twelve years ago. Think about like Jad and how mechanical Jad is. It's like. Okay, it changes its attack styles, right? At the time, that was a huge deal. It's like, holy shit, you got to change your prayers? And now, look at what they've been able to do with the same basic game system where they've, they've um, I don't know what the word is, but they've expanded on it. They've pushed that game system that we have and the mechanics, the absolute, what? Well, I wouldn't like to think the absolute limit, but they've pushed it. Like, look at when you're doing, like, Zuck and you got to, like, pray flick between Ranger and Major and you're running behind a shield shooting Zuck and stuff. It's like, what they've been able to do is extraordinary. And when you uh, go and, like, if you look at a game, real quick, if you look at a game like World yeah. of Warcraft, for the most part, like, they haven't really expanded on that side of the game. It's still, it's just a case of, like, oh, there's a new raid, you just, you know, target one, you kill that boss, you get the loot and you leave. RuneScape has expanded and, like, it's evolved and they've made things more and more better and there's been a lot of fault that's been poured into the things that have came into the game and that's like something which believe it or not might sound like that should be standard across the board but a lot of mmos that's not the case no not at all not they're at all. uh they're doing essentially what i think rs3 tried to do by adding eoc it was just like a lazier version of it it was more of like a gamble probably but they wanted to expand combat the way Jax kind of has with old school by making it kind of like more mechanic wise but uh eoc just didn't work out obviously but yeah they've done a very good job with the mechanics that it can work with that's for sure with uh old school mm. exactly instead of throwing like hot keys on it they're like okay it's a point to click with mechanics it's like perfect perfect no, there, is that new bow like that's like a bleed effect i heard or something which, which new uh, bow? which one is it the bow, the mace, or something? Oh, the yeah, it's the, the mace. Effect. The mace has the bleed effect, but I don't really yeah, like the bleed effect. Let me that's answer some, some questions. I know stuff. five items, all right? Yeah, honestly, <laughs> yeah. I don't like the bleed effect because I almost killed a PKer. They have, he had, like, five HP, but the bleeds, it's four damage every, like, other second. So it literally took forever mm. for, like, the force to, like, you know, stack. Yeah. But, but by the it does time, he already ate up, you know? So, like, it didn't even matter. I'm like, oh, my God. You know God, what I think they made that mace for? I think they made yeah. it for the Venonatus room because one is best in slot in there. But two, if you catch someone frozen yeah. on a web and then you hit them with the mace and it yeah, bleeds they as walk, they're getting right. drained, yeah. they mm. can't move and they just die. Yeah. And I think that's why they made it. And it's yeah. really cool, but only for that area. That's it. I mean, like, I would have preferred the extra damage to just be one damage and insta hit the guy, you know? <laughs> That'd be nicer. Like, yeah, but that's like 20 damage over time. Thing? I'd rather just have it hit 20 damage right then and there, you know? It, we, it works like a yeah. it works like a typical bleed though, like across the board. Whether you're playing like Dungeons yeah. and Dragons or yeah. if you're playing League of Legends, like it's they've done it in a very traditional sense. Yeah, I like. Yeah, the they they found very good ways to implement combat systems that like other games have, but like within the combat system that we have. Yeah, for sure. There's yeah. a lot you can do with point and click. I I would say yeah. Well, it's amazing how much they've been able to do. Because this is the thing. I think that there are limitations with, obviously, what they can do. But I think that where they've been limited in certain ways, they've made up for it in, in kind of, like, adventurous ways where it's like, okay, so, you know, there's only so engaging and so much of a fight you can have versus, like, Zuck, for example. And it's like, what are these elements we can throw in there just to, like, spice up that fight and make it more crazy? And it's like, well, firstly... You gotta be able to time yourself running back and forth in front of a shield or you get one shot. And it's like, hey, would it be a sick idea if we threw in like a major and a ranger at the same time? And you know, it's like if you attack them at the same tick, like you might be in trouble, but if you don't, you'll probably be okay. Like they've done a really good job with what they have. It's just a question of how far they can take it. I mean, like if you look at the um Tombs of Damascus, like the final boss and what they were able to do with the floor in there, I I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, they used potentially a different game engine to, to make that or something i remember hearing something around the time we spoke about it. Do you remember re uh but that was more of like a graphical engine though so, but i think their their overall engine has 
improved over time because they have engine developers that you know spend time to update their engine but uh, we, do, we don't we don't ever always learn too much about like exactly how you know that affects combat but like but like for sure they've done certain things that previously i don't think the engine would have allowed you know right because like when when the first new bosses nosuka came out it was literally just kraken boss and smoke devil boss but they had like really no mechanics right it was just you know it was just a copy and paste of something else that existed and then they just increased the numbers right right thermo like thermi boss and kraken boss like those are literally just copy and paste of existing models and existing like you know interactions right like smoke devil boss was just a uh an unused asset that they already had in the in the game and the kraken yeah. Was just a reskinned uh, sea troll queen from Swan Song. Dude, they're good at right? reskinning stuff, by <laughs> the way, aren't they? But but like now, right? Like the bosses are like completely unique, completely new models, like completely new. Like a lot of you know here and there, you get some completely new mechanics. That uh, yeah, so I'm sure the engines improved. So yeah. What do you what? think's a really unique boss that they've recently put into the game? Rev boss. <laughs> okay, that's the, oh no, the rev boss. Oh my god! I knew you'd be mad. It, yeah. It's a glorified punching bag, and it I love one the, of the best bro. bosses I've ever seen. Just <laughs> beautiful, bro. It Mechanically makes... inclined. You can't teleport if you're well, attacking it. Everything bro. you'd ever want in a game. I used to, boss. I used to have peak air brain as well, and I'm sure that back then I would have loved it too. But do you know what? I was pleasantly surprised with the mechanics that they've actually given the new wilderness bosses. I was like, oh man, they make him Venonetta shoot out a web? I was like, these PKers are going to be going crazy. They're not going to get it at all. Like, I'm surprised they actually put so much in there. But um, yeah, I think that's a good sub. We should probably talk about the Wilderness bosses. Alkin, have you tried it at all? Have you tried that content? I've not, because I know it's going to be packed there. So I'm, I'm, it, it is. Yeah. It Iron is man. very packed. <laughs> Alkin, with the people out there, you would demolish, bro. What do you mean? You you got what a bazillion hours? These PKers and Zerkin ropes, whip out yeah, it and just slap yo, it in the face. Man. Hey man, I, I don't want to waste time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, the anti. Yo, He's I've in been, a rush. I've been loving the anti skull mechanic though. It's actually fun being able to fight people and not get skull tricked. You can You literally cannot get skull tricked with it. It's so good. Oh, one yeah. thing I don't like though is because of like I think anti PKing should be a very popular thing. I wish it was a bit more popular. I I wish like revenants, for example, you didn't have to kill them while being scald because then you could actually fight back. I think because you have That's to be true. scald while doing it, That's you true. really can't fight back. Well, and the yeah, cool I, thing I about think these... if they implemented things like that, it might make people actually try PKing more probably. The cool I, thing I about the reps. solo bosses right yeah. now is that you, well, you don't need a skull, which is good. But my God, is it easy to anti PK? Holy shit! It's so easy to just have yeah, but someone it's, try it's to so easy you where and... like you actually enjoy doing it now, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Whereas if different. you if you have to be sculled, you don't enjoy any of it. So I think they need to move maybe more in that direction, probably. Yeah, uh, allowing uh, people uh, yeah. to be Dude, NTPKers. Yo, They're making Brown those steps. Can, even thankfully. even in the multi version of the bosses, right? It's not like you know clans show up all the time. Like a lot of times, it would just be like one or two dudes. You can actually anti PK them. It's great because yeah. like you can like lure Callisto on top of them or whatever or Vedion electricity. Yeah, like we've killed a few people through that. It's actually hilarious. And like um yeah, it's just just nice knowing that like I can click on whoever the fuck I want and never get scold. Basically. It's just nice. Like it won't let me attack, uh if if uh, you know the guy didn't engage me, but it's okay, I'd you know, like at least I have a leeway. If someone's hitting me, I can hit them back. And if someone uh barraged me by accident hitting my friend i can fight back you know then it's like okay now it's 2v1 now who's who's running now you know it's like that it's it's like much he's better. been having a good time this last Dude, week look yeah, at him man yeah you know, I've, turned somebody, him. I've turned him you're talking about something that i know for fucking sure there's so many pkers that would hear that and just be like man this is why that update was awful <laughs> yeah no but like it's just fun because like why do you have to pick on someone who knows that they don't want to fight back because they don't want to get skull but now it's like i don't care you know like there's no no skull to worry about. I will shoot you with my bofa, you know? I will ride your <laughs> ass, you know? Yeah, like, no, uh, it's definitely, it's definitely like an interesting mechanic. Like, at this point, that's great. If you ever get skull tricked, you can't complain. Like, it's like you just dig yeah, the button just and turn tell people on, it's green. Bro. It's literally, green. Yeah, literally turn on the freaking anti skull, bro, and you're, you're going to have a much better time in the wilderness. I'll tell you that. 
yeah no for sure yeah we we were doing that on fresh start worlds actually because on fresh start worlds it was like i did a thousand kc and there's like very little competition but there was one clan that kept hitting us and um we fought back once and then they just started blitzing they they you know they didn't want to take us all on and we were risking quite a bit so we couldn't really scow up it's interesting yeah. for sure i i guess that alone should be enough to hopefully like hopefully enough to kind of like get new players to go into the wilderness because they know they don't need to risk anything at all i i don't see why people won't want to go do these single bosses at least because the mechanics are i mean just so easy like yeah. in spindle for example the yeah. baby version of venatus you pray melee and you hit them with a, a mace and that's it and you just follow them around you slap the shit out of them with a mace you can watch a show you could do other things you could be on another account and then yeah, when you get attacked popular, then you actually, get right? into content right yeah. then you kind of say okay now i gotta fight back now i gotta tank that's how it should be right yeah it's, it's, active. Have to always it's very it's, active super active. this is what i do this is how i've been pking i go down i dump spec twice i reset one in one in two tries i get a kill every world's packed i'm getting about 10 kills an hour yeah it's really popular i mean the rewards are pretty good and and and, and yeah it's you know nice good money, it's definitely good money. i think from what i've seen so far i think they've done a good job of it i mean yeah, they I buffed the regular drop table um so if anyone doesn't know when they first released uh the new wilderness bosses like the drops were super underwhelming i'm pretty sure it was either at callisto or vetion where one of the drops you could get was literally one coin okay and, <laughs> I, um, I don't know if i got that one but yeah, yeah it was noticeably it, I think it has been an addis. Noticeably better. Was that like a random drop table though, where like like Vorkath drops like three K coins probably sometimes? I, I don't I, know. I would, but, I, mean, I would probably assume so. I, I got a drop that was eight hundred GP, and I also got like seven seven limpert roots and just like terrible stuff. And the so problem the, with that, oh, sorry, the reason they it. might be doing that is because there's like a, split. It's almost it's almost like Gower's Dungeon where it's all shit drops and you get a big piece. Yeah, no, but they buffed so it that, now. So that they void, that now. like Karasi weapon, like that's the big piece, isn't it? Yeah, um, but it, it, but, is, it is the big piece. But but the problem buffed, is, so. it was it was really bad. Like yeah, yeah. I, I, it should definitely be pretty damn good. It should be like near Vorkath, yeah. to be honest, not far from it. Because here here's the thing. Here's like the the balance to that. You're talking about killing something. I'm specifically talking about the multi wilderness bosses. You're in 35 yeah. wildy, so you can't teleport out. Yeah. Right. And you're killing bosses which literally drop nothing unless you get one of like the mega rare things, which is worth money. So it's kind of like, okay, how do you justify getting seven limpert roots when you can't instantly teleport? You're in the the uh, in the multi wilderness, so you can just die super fast. So they did actually buff the loot. Um, I think it's probably like about two and a half times better than what it was previously. May may maybe three maybe free depending i did 500 kills pre buff and 500 post buff what and was I mean, the price the difference. difference so in the first 500 i made i believe it was eight mil and eight mil from the regular drops which like just isn't great how long is an average kill like a minute or two or minute? um towards the end of it we were getting 90 kills per hour but that was in fresh start worlds and we were being uninterrupted yeah, so in the main yeah. game you're probably getting hit like every other kill maybe or something i'd guess and then post uh when they buffed it i think if i wouldn't have died it was about 20 to 22 mil okay? the 22 mil just for you in like six seven hours uh it was more than that oh yeah well yeah well it's probably yeah probably about that actually yeah well, the, the the content is fine now because like the normal drops are crazy. Like I literally did like a one mil trip, you know, like just normal drops like last night. At, like, yeah, it's good now. Stuff. Yeah, like, it's it is. Crazy. It is really good now. So I'm glad they they buffed it because it's like, you know, a lot of people won't go here because like the the loot was unjustifiable versus what you had to risk to get the loot. And bearing in mind, like, if you want to kill it effectively, you have to really use the chain mace. So not only are you risking whatever gear you're taking that's not your plus one, you're also risking, like, at least a 1,500 effort realistically. So you're looking at, what, like, three, 400k in just effort alone, and then you're getting seven limpert roots as a drop, and you can't insta telly. It's like, it's not appealing for people, right? So I, I think they'll probably leave the loot where it's at right now because it feels pretty good. 
and at the moment the prices are really good on the unique items so it actually makes it worth it as well yeah no i think it's great i mean you know i'm a pvmer right like i don't pk and stuff but like from my point of view i uh i i found it to be a, a huge it's like it's like revolutionary almost you know just the fact that again you can fight back without worrying about getting sculled in the new bosses is, is just so appealing and also uh, i guess from iron perspective the multi bosses are great because you can never get wrecked because if you do the single ones you can get right like someone literally goes there the boss hits hits him once the kill the drop's gone but multi you always get some drops basically are they figuring are they gonna fix that or something where like someone can just tank one hit and you lose it i don't think they're fixing it for the singles but the multi one though you're you're basically guaranteed to get uh drops so and i love that aspect of it you know because like you're I don't allowed care to like group showed. the boss too with the iron man right like like uh, yeah you can do that too pretty much you can do that too yeah that's why i do uh i mean i i've done some solos but it's kind of hard because there's always people that show up but but at the end of the day it doesn't matter too much because like i get drops and uh it makes the kills easier and if pk mm. show up hey they might kill them and i can just run away like i i don't usually die so it's nice Right. Uh, how do you um? How do you feel that it kind of gives you the power as a PVMer in the multi area? Because it's great. You know, you can't but, scout when you look at it. It's like either it's active or it's not. It doesn't tell you how many people. I think so you can have balanced. one dude dropping into like fifty people, yeah. and they have a little bit of a stall animation too. So you just see them. They actually land straight on their face. They get up and they could be dead. Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, I think it's good. I think it's a great like because because like I think the least appealing thing in the wilderness is like fighting back you couldn't fight back before but now you can and i think that's the big change right that change mm -hmm. I, outside of revs like alkin said you know it's the fact that you, it, because of that that guaranteed ability to fight back without getting scold makes it so much nicer like because now you're just not like teleporting away instantly if you don't want to right if, if it's a big clan okay telly but like if it's a small team someone like me and my friends could actually do something about that and and it, it's just like all right you know like that that's right the next time you try to mess with us you know we're gonna rag you too you know we'll, we'll fight back and that makes it so much nicer like it's it's like less of a uh you know uh, what do you call it? prey versus predator it's more of like uh don't fuck with me and i don't fuck with you you know it's like that it's it's much better in my opinion th that way so it feels like they're finally getting those first couple steps on how to build a nice ecosystem in, yeah, the, wild, in the wild because yeah. step one is like how do you get people into the wilderness okay but put some money in there okay so, yeah, we good don't want to just works. people making money right so it's like oh uh, maybe give them the benefit of being able to fight back and give them the first drop oh so you they'll see the people coming they won't be able to get scouted as easily Next thing you know, you got a very nice base for people to want to come into the wilderness and actually PVM. And that it's, they did that so well. Yeah. And because PKers are always going to want to PK, they're going to have these groups of people that be shelling, you know, shouting obscenities in Discord. They're going to be out there yeah. no matter what. And you need to get the PVMers out here first before you can build anything. And that, oh, bro. Yeah. I, I also the enjoy the fact that sometimes, like, a lot, a good amount of times, like, you know, PKing groups will accidentally hop into each other and they fight each other. And that's great because. We think like oh no they're coming but then they're actually just fighting another pk group so it's like hilarious because then i'm like all right well you do yeah i'll run away now you know it's like i just yeah. like seeing there being a more instead of a more you know i hate the prey versus predator thing it's i think it's i think that stuff kind of especially with the sculling thing that made it so unappealing i think that's that's probably one of the biggest things about the wilderness that that people hated the most right just just constantly have to tank but you can't fight back at all. You're just getting irritated for no reason, you know. So, so I think that that is uh, that that change alone will will probably put the um, wilderness perspective in a more positive, you know, uh, overall for anybody. For yeah, I hope so, man. Easy. I hope there's a bunch of those PVM clans doing bingo because that's apparently all they do nowadays. I don't know. Have yeah, fun. Kind of and I hope they're all talking about it in Discord, like, yeah, we just domed like 14 people, and then all of a sudden, oh, dude, let's do this every Tuesday or Thursday, because they just are finally getting the what's enjoyable about PvP, which is just going down the wild, anything can happen, you fight back, and sometimes you can make bank. Like, that's, they're finally embracing it, because they have a way to embrace it, because we have good mechanics built around helping the PVMer out, and uh, honestly, not too good for the PK. -er. I mean, you go in there blind, you hit the floor, you're a little bit stalled. But we we can deal with that because we we're just glad that someone's out there. 
honestly. Yeah, <laughs> we just, exactly. Hey, thank God someone's here. You Easy know, to I don't find care. people, right? Like that's uh -huh. kind of, that's great. That's, that's all we needed. Yeah. And that's what Rev Caves was. And now we have this. more. Yeah. It's so good. So good. Are you excited for the um, bounty hunter? Like the actual trader? People keep asking me if I'm super excited for bounty hunter. I was more excited for like anything deep wilderness where you can just go around and anything happens. I think I'm excited though for bounty hunter uh, for a different reason. Just nice to see people having account builds to do something. Because when you bring Ezreal, everyone in like one area, kind of like LMS, isn't it? more so for sure yeah i don't know if they're gonna be doing the three bounty craters or different combat brackets but it should be in one area where you go in and it's like a fight pit i, I think it's going to be massively successful I, it's going to be nice to see builds too because they're going to have build yeah. uh, armor builds in the shop and whatever and it's like if you look at edgeville it's ghost town right and yeah. then if you go to pvp worlds the brackets are like 10 to 15 in between so it doesn't matter if you have a level 60 that's built you're still gonna get slapped by an 80 voider <laughs> you know there's no reason to build an account until you go to yeah. bounty craters and they might actually revive account builds you see what rakes he type bro he's like be right back need to take a massive shit <laughs> you talking about <laughs> holding on two hours oh god i just heard that now bro did you just Rakesy, get back what does turtling mean dude What'd where'd you... you go bro uh, oh dude i had the rhea i had to go squirt out real quick sorry boys it's more bile <laughs> 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 oh god stop i'm, I'm sorry Elkin, did you say today. you've been holding in a shit for two hours you can go if you need to it's okay uh, what? No, that's Alfie's what you taking a shit bro. right now, bro. That's why his webcam's yeah, on. Yeah. What do you mean? Bro, that's what you typed to us before right. you left the screen. <laughs> if you want, I'll take the webcam in with me next time. Is that yeah. cool? You guys wanna you wanna get no, that of course not. Let's carefree no. sub experience? Before we do that, let's put a paywall behind that boy. I'm trying to get yeah. paid, bro. You know what I mean? Five dollars yeah. per viewer. <laughs> Dude, rice cup feast feet picks, tear free no, sub only. Hell, Can no. you imagine? Dude, I bet Reed... toes. Yo, how big <laughs> are your feet, Ray? How big They're your not feet? Big, bro. I, 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 I <laughs> wear a seven row tiny feet. Oh, good boy. Yeah. <laughs> seven and a half in the woman. You look real good in some Nike boots. Skechers. Like it's oh, seven awesome. and a half eight, okay? But like, yeah, okay. Yo, Dude, uh, eight? I, I'm pretty sure. I, I was uh, I was size 12 feet in grade uh, dude, you're, sorry, you're, 12 you're a big old. dude, though. You're a big dude, all right? I'm, I'm like a sleek guy, all right? And I'm not like six foot, so it it, it kind of is what it is, you know? <laughs> you said size 12? Feet now, Elkin. Yeah, I was about to ask. Uh, they stopped growing after I was 13. They're yeah. size 13. Size 14. Yeah, Same, dude. Dang, we you can peaked, share shoes. Or, yeah, you peaked. There's or, no yeah. way mint size 13. Dude, I'm a big boy. Yeah, he's like, yeah, mid's actually like six, uh, three, right? Or wait, actually, wait, are like American sizes the same as UK sizes? Yeah, yeah I got some fat fucking uh, feet, bro. I'm know. proud of it. Yeah, he's got some spatulas, mate. Like, for real. Hey, Rice, I remember <laughs> before Rice was telling my feet stunk like hell, so I started scrubbing the fuck out of him, dude, dude, bro. Yo, okay, quick. What kind of sexual experience is Wait, wait, Rice, right. no, no. let's not bring this up dude, the story, no. though, all right? Yeah, let's... no, no, no. I gotta, so... I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta give context. This guy, he, he like, stayed over at Kiefer's place, like, high as frick for a day. And then he, he like, his feet got soaked, and obviously, you know, he didn't take a shower. So he came back at TwitchCon to meet up with us. And then, like, we're in the car going to, like, a meetup for, for, like, a Korean barbecue. I'm like, yo, what the fuck's that smell? It was, like, stinky <laughs> wet socks, dude. Oh, my God. Anyways, anyways. Wait, who, Min? Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm... Rice, man, be the guy who tells you in front of the car full of people instead of pulling yeah. you to the side? Bro, Damn, who's feet sting in this bit? Like, Rice, bro, come I'm on, man, you, pull nah. me. I mean, I don't, <laughs> even... look, look, I just was... don't give a shit, dude. But, but honestly, that wasn't even, like... That wasn't even that big of a deal because, dude, the dude was driving, our boy driving 100 miles per hour on, on the fucking highway, dude. I was like, shit, Whoa. I can't even be distracted by this because, like, we might just die now, you know? <laughs> like, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So here, here, here's a question for you. Are, <laughs> are you shit. the kind of person that would just sit there and say nothing? Or would you say to your homie, hey, man, like, can you chill? Well, the, the thing is, I'm not his homie, so I, I don't, I didn't feel comfortable. So he was, he's talking about one of my oh. viewers. So <laughs> yeah. we were in a oh. Range Rover that he rented going like 110 down an 80. And I was just sitting there like, I'm feeling pretty safe. And I look behind me and Rice is fucking shaking. Olive's <laughs> praying and shit, bro, with his bald little head. I was like, you all good? Try to tell oh, us, man. Dude. Oh, dude. Bad, bro. Nah, he was like cutting cars and shit. I'm like, oh my fucking God, dude. I was, bro. Like, oh, I was feeling it. Dude. Now we you, told him after man, right? I, we had to like yo 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 don't do that yeah. <laughs> don't do that like what the fuck 
Yeah, yeah dude. Good. He was probably like showing off or something. I, dude, um, I remember yeah, years we ago. Late. I had we a... were late to the meetup though, so because he, he got he like he went on the wrong turn. But well, whatever. Anyways, continue. Do, yeah. do you know what my dad always used to say a saying? He used to say, uh, "It's better to be late in this life than early in the next." And I'm like, damn. Good saying. Damn, that's, that's a million dollar quote right there. I'm taking that. <laughs> right that's there, deep. Dude. Holy shit. But I. Rem I remember I had this friend and he used to drive like an absolute dick. Like he was always up somebody's ass. He was always just in like why? just driving like a douche for I don't I know, know why. I hate people. And like I remember that. No offense. I remember we kind of like stopped hanging out and then we kind of like met up and he was like, "Hey man, he's like, why did we like stop hanging out?" And I I just said to him, I was like, "Man, I was like straight up I was like, your fucking driving terrifies me." <laughs> and I told you multiple times that you're driving too fucking fast. And I'm like, Bro, he's written off like free cars. He crashes a car every single time he gets it. It's crazy. Oh I'm just like, God. I'm not, I'm not going in your car because you fucking scare me. Do you know what I mean? Need for Speed UK. Oh my God, man. I don't know why people do it, but then yeah, again, I drive like a, I, I drive like an old man. I'm me like too. proper, proper taking, taking my time. Dude, like, I know, drive it's just... like it's my last day, bro. You know, like it could be any day, could be my last. You know, I'm always. Turning on that my means blinkers. You're fast as fuck, bro. No, no, no. Mean, I, was, I didn't no, disregard the first one. I, I was turning my blinkers <laughs> on, you know. Yeah, and Tokyo like, drift out here. He's like, I can just run to the gym and shit, bro. I've yeah. seen it. It's like yeah, 40 yeah, miles yeah. an hour. Yeah. I, I actually bust to the gym so I can walk back normally. Yeah. Like you run there. Yeah. Idea. But do you like drive a 30 minute. Like, I don't know if you, like, you know, there's much Man, time for touching grass nowadays, but. I can see him in a Prius. I bet I the bus. Even, I don't even have a car right now. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I guess you don't really need it, right? You're just like, you know, I'm home chilling, grinding. Like, what's what's good, you know? Yeah, Yo, you could just call me a loser, bro. Like, that's <laughs> no, fine. I mean, same. I'm same. <laughs> I feel, yo, I go hang out like once a month or something, you know? Like, uh, that's no. I, I live, I live like in a not busy city, but pretty like like everything's close. Yeah, like metros and and all that public uh, subways. No, like, like like a five minute walk is like maybe six different places I can go to like food. Nice. This, yeah, that, yeah. Nah, fuck store. driving, dude. Yeah, I only drive if I That's absolutely have life. to. Honestly. Yeah. I go... he he's got to catch a horse anywhere he wants to go. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'll go get in the cart, man. Horse and cart around there. You see, he's like a little Amish buggy come by. He's like, oh, I, I've only just made it a thing to like go grocery <laughs> shopping uh, every weekend with like my mom just so I can still see her. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't see her that much. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, man. It's honestly therapeutic. That kind of stuff is. You know, nice to do, for sure. Yeah, yeah, if I didn't go grocery shopping with her, I'd probably see her like every few months, and she lives like 15 minutes from me, so <laughs> may as well see her this <laughs> yeah, once a week. Yeah, yeah, no, I think that's great. Uh, great of you, man, for sure. Man, I, yeah. do you know what? Sometimes I like, because I live out in the middle of like, you know, it's not a lot going around here. It's like country and that. Like, Cheap I town. have to force myself to go out. I'm just like, I don't need anything, but I need to go to the fucking shops. Like, I just need to go and have like an interaction. Yeah, it's just like fresh air. Somebody. Yeah. yeah. Just for, just to get your mind out like off of RuneScape for a little bit. Yeah, for me it's yeah. like a weekly run. I just go outside and just run at the beach, you know. Even though it's freezing right now, but I like it's worth it, you know? It's like it's like the time to zen out and just like not think about anything. Just Did you, you know? live near the sea? Good yeah, latest. I'm like I'm like, you know, I could walk there in 5 minutes, but you know, I run there. Is and it, is it nice? Run. Is it nice beach or yeah, yeah, I mean, some parts can smell, but, you know, it's like a nice trip. It's just, like, all along, you know? So you can go for f miles, like, along the beach. You are, know? You, are you? Whereabouts are you, Ree, if you don't mind me asking? I live, in, like I live in Mass, in Massachusetts, up north. Yeah, no, yeah. There's like a whole coast, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, on the west and the east. You know, I'm on the east side. You know, like. Yeah. Let me let me see this. I'm gonna have a look on Google Maps. Ma Massachusetts. I mean, my state is next to the waters, my guy, and I live on the eastern side of the state. Do you do you like no. fish at all? No, no. I mean, you could fish here. Rice goes into his bare hands. Wait, is bro. that is that Boston? I don't know. Uh, the Boston's in Massachusetts. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. it's funny. Yeah, I Every, thought so. Everybody knows Boston, and like they know. Yeah, like, no one knows Massachusetts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They know like the Harvard reason... and all those schools, but they don't know like where <laughs> is all those places, right? We say Massachusetts, like what the fuck's that? It's like it's the state, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. It's it is funny how the the pro the uh yeah. The thing like Boston, the city is way more popular than oh, the actual yeah, it's state's crazy. name. I don't know how Boston got so famous compared to this. I guess Massachusetts I guess is a scuffed uh, name, you know? Like, it is. It sounds like massive two shits. Yeah, it is massive. The only person I know from <laughs> Boston <laughs> is Bill Burr. Yeah. And I imagine everybody in Boston is literally like Bill Burr. Is that like fair to say? You know, they who probably all is? know who he yeah, is. Yeah, the comedian. Fucked up, yeah. man. What do you mean? 
Yeah, yeah, the comedian? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, that wasn't a roast. That guy's successful as hell. Yeah, no, I think that's yeah, like more of a compliment. Dude, he's funny as hell. Dude, yeah. If you yeah, take out him, the bro. humor, he's a short, ginger, bald man. What do you mean? That's, what's wrong with that, bro? Well, that's great, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think he's a good bro. representation. You know, a lot of people here are very um, uh, critical thinkers, I'd say. You know, Rice Cup, do you know what yeah. I think you should do? I what's think that? you should do, like, a thousand Twitch sub goal, and I'd love to fucking see this. You dye your hair ginger. Like bright no, ginger. What? No, dude. Dude, I'd love to see Ryu with ginger hair. Why Look the fuck would you be so K pop? Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stay away from dying shit, you know? Any, you know I mean, keep Bro, man, you, you're going to go outside and literally, like, the first girl you see is just going to fall down on her knees and just be Because like, I have oh, ginger hair. God. Nah, I'd rather my go boy. natural white hair when I get old enough, you know? <laughs> if that happens, if I don't know. I don't know if that happens. If you, unless you go bald. You're going to go yeah. bald? Is anyone hey, here going to yeah. get a hair transplant if they go bald? Uh, honestly, I don't um, know. I'm not sure. Nah. I feel Could like... I give you a hair transplant? How does that work? Could I help you out with that? Or I feel like I feel like if grow I go hair like... somewhere else, I feel I don't like it... know where you where they get hair. But I don't know. I don't know where they take it. So, tur speaking of Turkey, Turkey apparently is like the hair transplant capital of the world. Yeah, it's like like cheap, everybody. Right? So Turkey, Turkey has. Stuff. Mm. Turkey has like uh, you know how people do like uh, vacations where it's like an all exclusive. <laughs> Yeah. Pretty much oh, that, but for, for for a hair transplant. Oh, wow. So they pay for oh, your hotel, the hair transplant, the plane ticket. That's oh, like, like an all exclusive. Like a... like... That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's a package deal, bro. Bro, I'm wow. not I'm not even trolling. I'm dead serious. Yeah, okay, go ahead. I had a fucking sponsor offered to me for me and one other friend to go to Turkey and for me to get a hair to, to get one of the hair transplant things and like to make like a video out of it. Enough, I'm... Man. I don't think you're bold enough, I don't, yeah, I, I don't. didn't even, I didn't even you know. and Odo bro, just skipping down town, dude. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and my boy, little O. Dude, like, I didn't realize how small forehead, he was dude. until he posted a picture, I think it was like, he joined some org. Like, he po I, bro, the thing is like, when you see people on camera, like you've no idea size-wise what they're like, you just get so used to seeing them. Yeah. And I saw a picture of him on his Twitter a while back, and he's like, he's small, man. I'd have never thought he was small. I thought he was just like a regular sized dude. Like, what's a regular sized dude? Well, oh, anything five over foot nine. five foot, bro. Oh, anything over five foot. I guess he's, he's like, he's probably like five stream, four, yeah. five foot. Oh, okay. He, oh, damn. He's quite small. Okay. Okay. I didn't, I never yeah, thought, okay. I didn't know he was small, to be fair. So I told mm. him that, that's why I saw the pic. Hey man, you can be successful regardless, you know, that kind of stuff. Oh, it know? makes sense why it's got so much fucking energy, bro. It's like if I was that small, I'd probably be bursting with rage. Yeah, like I would just be bouncing off the walls. Yeah, that's the know? one good thing about being under six foot is that like you don't have gravity fucking with you all the time, you know? Yeah, that's why my knees are fucked. <laughs> it is windy up here. Sadly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some perks. There's some perks, but but six. So what's there to do in good. Massachusetts? Isn't there just like a university there or something? I mean, it, it's just the most famous university. Uh, I mean, all the all, like, it's just like MIT, Harvard, you know, that kind of, you know, those kind of Cambridge, you know, like all those, like, all it's like Cambridge. A, it's just, all, yeah, it's you know, it's famous. Yeah, it, they they have a lot of names from old UK, you know, back here, right? Anyways, yeah, it's just like a more of a scholarly state, I guess. A lot, a lot of people travel here to go, to, you know, go to college and university, you know, interchangeable here. Um, okay. Yeah, but. It's just nice, a lot of history, right? Because like it's a lot of where the you know um, the the Revolutionary War stuff, you know, like the the Pilgrims, you know, and all that stuff happened here, right? Yeah, Anyways, totally enough about, about my state. It's kind of you know whatever, you know. Wait, wait, what were we talking about before <laughs> before this question? It's not about hair transplants. Hair transplants, man. Oh yeah, oh, would yeah, any of you yeah. get a hair transplant? Could you do I, it on your pubic? I'm not region? 100 like, sure. I if think you want more hair on your balls. Where do they take the hair from, Alkin? Do you know? Your legs, right? I have no idea. I, I, think... I thought they just... Is that what they do? They take your hair? Yeah, it's from your leg, I, right? I think they have to take, like, healthy... I'm pretty sure they have to take healthy hair. Like, they don't just take the hair. Like, they take the seed or whatever. The, like, yeah, yeah, the little like, follicle. The yeah, the follicle. <laughs> they, like... I think it's called the follicle. Yeah. Sure. Well, I... Probably my ass, bro. There's a lot there. <laughs> probably. Oh, yeah. Or your dude, imagine armpit hair is your hair. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> awful, bro. Yeah, I think I I might do it if like I get bald super early. But like if I get bald at like fifty, I'm just gonna rock it. You know, I don't even. Care. Oh, you're too old already, dude. You're not. Nah, you're gonna go bald. I would go bald. I just. I've never even like really cared if I go bald. It's weird. Yeah. People are always like you're going bald. It's like an insult. I'm like I don't even know that is that a bad thing. 
Yeah. I, guess people, I guess it's just things. like a big insecurity for guys, right? It, it is, I think it it's is, just yeah. a meme at this point. I, I think it's just like one of those things where it's like some people think it's hilarious, you know? Like yeah, I, I don't even care. I'm not going to find it like offensive if someone says that I was losing Yeah, no, hair. it's definitely a male That's culture, good. you know, to have hair. And, and we're all affected by it to an extent. But yeah. Yeah, for sure. I yeah, I think it. I would. I think I'd just roll with it. To be honest, it's like, hey man, never say you're not never, gonna but, stay yeah. young and beautiful forever, are you? Well, I the thing is, I just like I don't want to spend money to look younger. Like, yeah, it's that's... like it's like ten k, isn't it? Or like five k plus. I've no idea. And that's with the I, Disney pack. I think or? Turkey is cheaper, right? Turkey yeah, I mean, probably I like four you know, k for like everything. He talks yeah. about it, yeah. Fuse, you know, Fuse to be talking about. What if you just want to go? I, I swear, if Fuse says he spent like ten grand on it, I was like, "Where yeah, the hell did you get this money?" Because he didn't go bro? to Turkey. Wait, I mean, where did you get this money, Fuse? That wait, that the hard money, Iron Man. You know, touch money. Nah, did I he mean really? he's grinding. He's been grinding. He puts out videos all the time. He streams wait. all the time. You know. Is he that works. why his Twitch profile he has like a beanie on? I mean, no, he's good now. His like he got his hair back and and all that. He's you know keeping it up. Yeah, dude, you know? he looks real good in his. I'm looking right now. Really <laughs> what is this? Pick at those who got hair transplant? Fucking. No, no, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Like he owns it. Should we just go it. down a list and nah, take we're a guess exposing off? every guy's insecurity, bro. <laughs> I know, I know. I mean, like honestly, it's, it's like admitting it is 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 respectable. You know, like because a lot of people they they cannot Listen, they they won't. Like so. I I got a real sincere question, and I I don't mean this offensively. In any way, oh, it's and about I, to be mad offensive. Oh boy, I, I, you go. I'm just completely like ignorant. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever seen a bald Asian person apart from like, oh, monks, there's definitely like, not seen Asian Buddha? people, mate. Oh, oh, Buddha. Buddha. old ones, old ones, okay. probably. Bro, bro in the anime. Anime. now to be fair, you live in like, like sheep town, mate. Like, which Dragon Asian... Ball Z. Yeah, dude, like, trust me, I'm just, I'm just completely, yeah. like, ignorant. Like, we don't have, yeah, like, no, Asian no. people Bro, around you, here. Yeah, dude. you live like, in, you live up. in, like, sheep farming village, so there's no, there's no Asian people here. There's I don't know. No there's, sheep like, it's like, it's like any other, like, group of people, I guess, and there's definitely a lot of bold Asian people, you know, like, my, my dad's side, you know, like, they, they have a history of bolding, you know? I've mostly seen so, them when they're older yeah. and they're bald, but I guess it's natural it makes for sense, people. Right? Literally yeah, every makes monk sense. in existence, I think, right? Yeah, but I think they, they do shave. it by choice. They, they shave, shave it, bro. Yeah, they straight shave. Yeah, but that. So you're saying just like horrific hair genetics. Like losing your hair. Listen, there's a difference between choosing to be bald and just being bald. <laughs> there's a difference. Yeah, or balding. Okay. You know, that's the term, right? The balding. Yeah, yeah, one yeah, punch man. There. Yeah, you, you lose hair. Of yeah, everybody loses at different rates. You know, some people lose a lot more. Yeah, yeah, to others, be fair, yeah, I don't see many Asian people like periods. So like, yeah, yeah, no, I don't have trust, a, I don't have a good me, field there, of debt fair. A, this reminds me of that normal. one joke when someone said, "When's the last time you've seen a pregnant Asian woman?" I, I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> like <laughs> yeah, Asians are never pregnant, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, are they? Yeah, yeah. The when's the last pregnant, time I, you've seen one? Yo, bro? <laughs> no, I only see fat white people around yeah, my parts. Exactly. That's why it's, you don't see Asian people in general. <laughs> Do they just oh, stay home? I just never, fat never fat ones. Never fat ones, though. Yeah. Crazy. Or Dude, ones. you know, my friend's back from China right now, and he said one of the first things he said to me was, "The Chinese people are very, very forward when it comes to people being overweight." And he said, like the first time oh, he ever went out to um, China. That's, that's, like a, that's a uh, cultural thing, you know, because the yeah. thing is, you know how like when you visit your your um, older family members, they always default to like five things, right? You've been either, gaining weight. Yeah, yeah. They'll <laughs> yeah. either ask it's you. It's always the, that. Yeah, bro. yeah. Exactly. So certain cultures, they'll ask you this, you know, the same five things or say the same. But like Asian uh, older people, they'll always be like, "Are wow, you married?" You, yeah, it's like you married yet? You have girlfriend yet? Um, what you know? Do you work yet? And uh, the two other ones are like. What's it? oh shit fuck what was I saying? What are you going like, to school for or something? Yeah, something like that, right? But like, but like the uh, the the biggest some of the biggest ones are always like, oh wow, you look fatter, or or wow, you look skinnier, you know? <laughs> but like, but the thing is, when they say that, they don't they don't really literally mean you look fatter or you look skinnier. It kind of just yeah. means like you look skinnier, as in like, bro, like you're you know you look kind of off. Asian, you, you turn know? into a stoner. Right? You're like you look kind of <laughs> oh, like kind of off. off. Or like you know you're not feeling good. You don't look like you're feeling good. You're sickly. But when they're like, yeah. wow, you got fatter, it's like they're like, oh my god, you look like you're you know you're glowing with energy or whatever. That's kind of like the vibe. 
but like it's it gets annoying because like every time you sh you visit them it's like the same five things and you already know exactly what they're gonna say so so you're just like man be a critical you know like come on i want to talk to people and not like default five messages right but like it do be like yeah. that so yeah that's great this, this reminds great. me of uh i think when i was in grade seven i went to cyprus to visit like family one of the family uh we had like a friend over and we might have to edit this part out just in case i want to actually say the word though so we were watching some kind <laughs> no, of like no, olympics on like the tv oh, and God. because it's like foreign they speak turkish they don't really they don't know anything about like racism and whatnot like I mean, they do but they don't yeah uh we were watching the olympics and this guy that was like their friend pointed out he said the n-word and he's always like these guys are always really fast Oh and God. like i don't think he realized the n-word how bad it is but yeah. he just oh he just God. referred to them as like with the hard er at the ending and I was like, oh my God. yeah they're pretty oh fast God. it's fucking yeah. oh man yeah. Yeah. It, just, it just kind of it just instantly hit me with like the it's, innocence it's much different culture there yeah the innocence man yeah wow man, you know, it's it's crazy there's like we we had a podcast ages ago where I was like, when we were younger, we used to play this game, and I was like, we called it this, and Bryce Cup was like, yep, that's definitely racist. <laughs> it's like, there's so many words, I swear, there's so uh, much shit that is just, like, racist. Yeah, you, you don't even again, know it. What what was the word? Look, look, to be fair, to be fair, it was... I probably said it as, like, it's racist if you were to come here and, like, do that right oh bro Whereas, i like, think it's know. just i think it's just right. bad man. it was yeah, it yeah, was yeah. you know mm -hmm. the you know the game when know. you whisper in someone's ear and you're like cabbage and then they whisper to someone we just call it telephone here cabbage yeah. and then eventually it goes in full circle and then it comes oh, yeah, out telephone word yeah, yeah, telephone, yeah. Telephone, yeah. Well, it's called telephone, it was yeah. where i'm from that's called chinese whispers yeah like, that's yeah, straight I up get what it's called. It. I see it you, now. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like that's that's just what we call it. And it wasn't <laughs> until like a year or two ago. I was like, oh shit, yeah, you're right, man. That is that's Wait, why is more... it called Chinese whispers? Is there some meme there? I I, uh... I guess it was somebody Is it because was... they talk quietly or something? It was I'm not probably even, someone know. basically saying that you can't understand a word they're saying. Oh, so oh, that's that's yeah, the... that's about immigrants. Yeah, that's like that's, yeah, I yeah. think, where it came from, if yeah, I had to Yeah, guess. yeah, yeah. yeah some it sounds like uh, yeah. sensual a little bit. Like, it's something you might find on a friend's hard drive, you know? That might mean just because, like, they're not, like, normally English first language, maybe. But yeah, it's, it, it's obviously, like the, the... it's a little bit of a, po it's like pointing out the Asians. It's like, there's more than just Asians. So. Yeah, it's like a dig on immigrants, you know, like the Asian immigrants. Yeah, it's, it is yeah. more of an immigrant joke, but it's, like, yeah. heavily focused on Asians only, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is weird. Because there are literally like no Asians where I'm from, like maybe maybe it was actually it like a harmless from? thing. I don't know. No, I don't know where it originated from then because it, it, we call it telephone here, so so I don't know how. I how telephone. It. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. But there's there's another one, but I'm gonna save it for after the podcast. I'll let you guys know. I can't All wait. Right. All I right. can't wait. Yeah. Uh, uh, everyone get back uh, to is now wondering. You know? Yeah. Should we get back to RuneScape? <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. No, get, okay, I do want to talk about some more RuneScape stuff uh, before we actually, like, wrap wrap up or whatever, you know? But, like, you know, so, I mean, I've watched Alkin as a predominantly skiller for many years, and then, I, you know, I've seen you kind of now kind of, like, um, shift your focus a bit more on, like, the PVMing and, like, the collection log stuff. How's that been? Like, like is that, was there any, like changes or they would, would or they just feel streamlined like just really easy transition for you to get into that kind of grind set it's like it felt the same or is it like more challenging you know how is how's that been i think it only happened because i'm an iron man i think if it was a main account i wouldn't have ever focused on pvming right right yeah they call it they correlate yeah because of iron yeah man, you really can't just never pvm as an iron man otherwise you're really kind of missing out on some things at least but so you're not that fond of pvm and you'd rather be cutting trees I think you like the Iron Man mode a lot. Well, though, to be right? fair, PVMing is effort. So, like, if I want to watch a movie, you can't PVM and watch a movie. You can definitely chop a tree while watching a movie. True. So maybe it's like effort based. Like, I don't think I can PVM for twelve hours straight. Never. That's too much work. <laughs> but yeah. I can. I can mm. definitely do any skill for twelve hours, probably, unless it's like tick abusing. But I don't really do that much, anyways. Damn, you must so. have watched a lot of shows back then. But I was going to ask earlier now. So, yeah. What do you watch, Alkin? Uh, like what type of like movies? Like what actual well, movies? Yeah, just anything. Like, do you just grind out shows? Like, I know DVS just straight up like just takes animes Dude, out. Like, they're I'm, you know, just... 
Smart I'm a Smart. big. I have an issue. I like to rewatch the same thing sometimes. Oh, what, what's your do you favorite? Guys ever do that? I, I do that. Rarely, rarely. Yeah, but... I, I've I watched. I've watched probably Smallville like six, seven times in the past. Oh. Dexter oh. maybe six, seven times. Oh, Breaking Bad. Uh, How to Get Away with Murder quite a few times. You guys probably don't know what that is. Uh, I've never heard of it. I've heard of that show. What about mm. Breaking Bad? That's like my. Oh, that one like five, six times easily. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. I think once I, I get the itch though. and I miss the show, I was like, ah, I need to go watch the whole thing again. That's yeah. just how I kind of am. I've seen oh, Dexter yeah. twice. I feel. I don't know about Smallville. Isn't that like Superman? Yeah. Smallville's like, uh, Superman. Tom Tom Welling, Clark Kent. Hmm. Tom Welling was the older brother and like cheaper by the dozen. You know that like those two movies. Yeah, I, 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 I know the I, I, I know the actor. Like I've heard of Smallville. Never really watched it. Watched it though. Dude, I saw like a like a study the other day that was talking about people that like rewatch the same it, shows. It's anxiety or something, probably, right? Something like that. Yeah, it's it's either anxiety or depression or even autism. It's like one Fuck, of the hey, <laughs> what, come on, man. It is <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we, we, we all got real. That's real. We all got it. Throw yourself <laughs> under a <laughs> bus. <laughs> what, what, what I was saying, I, I know. Anxiety is definitely a part of it because it's supposed to be like uh, right. So you watch a show for the first time. There's an element of anxiety. Yeah, you, you don't know what's going to happen next. Coming. Yeah, and then there's something which is yeah. kind of comforting about watching something again, but you it's know common. something's going to happen. Mm. Um, okay. And I, I think that like you know the autism kind of comes into it because autistic people like to have a routine and you know know what's going to happen each day, etc. So hey, I mean, to be you're... fair, I think humans are always routine. So I mean, yeah. that, we might yeah, all be true. autistic. I, I think, well, I we're, think we're definitely we all, have all on some. the spectrum yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's a if you're a RuneScape content creator, you're there. Mm. You're somewhere. Mm. I mean, so, some of us go to Canada to learn French, so you know, learn, be me learn France. <laughs> hey, man, oh it's French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, racy. Dude, I'm <laughs> quoting Mint from the yeah, start. Oh, okay. yeah, not, not all of us are. He's like, don't they speak yeah. French in Canada? You say they look like French Canadians or something. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's mostly just Quebec, and I think I don't know if it's Quebec. dying out or not, but it's definitely just Quebec, I think. And I'm pretty sure Montreal has like a lot of English. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I. I I watch a lot of stuff back, but it's more to do with just like I really enjoy some stuff. Like I'm gonna, I, I, I can feel it brewing. I feel like watching Berserk again, like the original. Read it, I, I'm gonna watch Yo, that. Yo, I just please did again, it. dude. Ever since Rice told me to watch it, I watched it twice. Oh, Bro, the God. soundtrack, it's just so. I shows, will, man. I will convert y'all. You know. <laughs> Do you guys watch The Office, bro? I know it's so no. like people hate it. I've seen some people love it. it. I've seen never uh, seen it. Seen clips of I'd, I'd rather watch Two and a Half Men. That's much more like my comedy. I like uh, that too. Two and I've, a Half Men is great. I watch Office a couple times, but I love that dry humor. I love uh, Two and a Half Men. How about the I've everyone? Seen some community everyone hates this funny. show, bro. Community was funny. That's good too. Everyone hates this show. What about Friends? Nah, nah, I never really watched kids. Those. I don't, I don't really, really watch when I was Friends. A kid, man. I think when I was growing up, it'd be like the thing I watched my grandma. So it kind of like that laugh track got in my head. So I, I watch it every once in a while. Or like Seinfeld. That was really like if it's OG. not anime, I prefer uh, you know more nitty gritty stuff. You know like Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul. You know Game of Thrones, that kind of stuff. You know I've not seen Game too. of Thrones yet. Yeah, I, I mean I definitely uh, think it was one of the you know much uh, XP you could the, get watching one of that? the excellent. Uh, live action shows, you know, out there. Dude, there's so many Minus dragons and titties, season. bro. Minus last oh season. Yeah. <laughs> so these, live... these days, like podcasts and like shows like that are like pretty popular. Oh, Just like what any, kind of like... podcast, man. Give us the give us the rundown. <laughs> which which ones I listen to? Yeah, but the like you're just even a West genre. Point. Like you have like a, a, I don't even know with this gaming probably crime. Some, it's okay. We're not going to Pokemon card podcast. Uh, so so I don't want I don't watch Rogan yeah. anymore because I don't I don't have no. Spotify. Oh, no. no, but I, I watch his like highlights on his YouTube. I guess. Mm. I Isn't like Rogan Spotify too? free though. Don't you just have to like watch ads dude like there's it. a lot of ads it gets so annoying i can't it's listen to it. i would uh, imagine there's a lot of ads dude it's like three minutes every like 20 minutes i can't it's too much it's that's fun. like worse than twitch bro yeah yeah, yeah it's worse <laughs> than twitch because like they'll play you the same like songs over and over again and you don't want to really mute spotify you know <laughs> but i don't like spotify to be honest yeah so, so, so what so. podcast do you watch aside from the old screen skip podcast alkin i know you're <laughs> a fan <laughs> okay, it might not just be podcast. It's just like YouTube in general. Yeah, I guess. yeah. So I like I'll it. I'll just I'll name my sub box like for like a few people that aren't RuneScape related right now. 
Uh, yeah. I'm subbed to someone called Abba and Preach on YouTube. I don't know if you've ever seen them. What's that them? topic like? I know the name Preach. I don't know Abba and Preach. It's just two guys. that They're actually both Canadian as well, I think. Or they live in Canada. Um, for bodybuilding stuff, I watch Nick Strength and Power. I don't know if you guys look at that stuff ever. Nick Strength and One sec, is this why I think <laughs> that they go I find it? It's like it's just no, like no. a bodybuilding channel, pretty much. Um, yeah, there's so um, many different channels. It's crazy. So. Uh, but I like I, I watch the Bill Burr podcast here and there, obviously. Yeah. Uh, fla flagrant or slash flagrant two, obviously I watch them. Uh, what about like Lex Freeman? Huh? You like Lex Freeman? I watched a bit of his stuff, yeah, for sure. He's like the he's watered down he's a bit Joe less, Rogan like, in a way. comedic stuff. But he's more serious, story. right? It is. It, he's really deep, but it's yeah. not. It's not Joe. Um, yeah, I'll watch the like, Franco sometimes, like time to time, if I want to see what the hell's going on. He still makes videos, DeFranco? He sure. does. Yeah, he's that I news guy. So often. I, do you know? I used I used to watch him, and then I found that over the years he became more and more. And there's Pretty nothing wrong with this, but. He just became like more and more opinionated on things, and like instead, oh, yeah, of, I guess sure. instead of reporting like an unbiased version of the hearing, it would be like he would spin it himself. Oh and yeah, for sure. That was kind of the reason why I stopped watching main news, uh, mainstream news in the first place. So mm. I, I kind of, I kind of stepped away from Philip DeFranco a long time ago. I but think that, a long you... time ago he was shit though. I, I never liked him back in the day. Yeah, I, see, I watched him like. He might have like gotten better over time, maybe I don't right now. I mean, I must have watched him like over easily over like six or seven years ago. Yeah, that was I don't I never watched him back then. Me too. I think I watched one video of him back then and I hated it. I was like, this guy's shit. So I think he's changed <laughs> probably since then. Fair news, fair news. Uh, I am um, I used there? do you know who I used to watch that I, I can't I, I really wish that I could watch them more, but I don't really do so much now. You guys like heard of H free H free podcast? I, oh, I yeah. stopped after yeah. a while. He yeah. got too extreme. Ah, yeah. 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 It just, yeah, it just became so negative all the time, and it was just so like, I don't know. I don't know if it was like he lent into politics too much or something. But like, yeah, when people get involved heavily in politics, that's too much for me normally. It, like, either it just like left or right. I don't really care. Trisha Thumber or some like big lady that has a wig. I don't know. He was had a wig on, and like he, he was unfunny at that point. Oh, Trisha Payton. Yeah, yeah, I was that's like. I don't even like her. Why the fuck are you partnering with her? It's probably because no one else wanted to talk to that motherfucker at the time. Well, they, they, like, they have very cringy, like, they're just not comedians, but they try to be pretty much. That's, yeah, what's wrong with him? Yeah, I used to yeah. like his stuff, but yeah, I think he got too aggressive. Once yeah. iDubbbz put a finger in his booty cheeks, I think it was pretty much over. Do you, know, do you know what's funny, it. though? Like, so I, I don't really watch his podcast too much anymore because of how it's kind of gone. But um, like the circle of people in the podcast, because there's a bunch of people like who are behind the cameras, but now they're kind of like part of the podcast. Like they used to check him, like they were quite good at being like, actually, you know, you could look at it from this point of view. And mm. like the last time I watched one, which was probably a week ago, they're just it, it's just a circle now. Like they're just like jerking off. It really is a circle jerk. And I don't know. It it like Men he always attacks like he always attacks people for no reason, right? And it's like why why is he just hating on people randomly? And it's like, is it like a jealousy thing or like what is this? You know, it's like he, the amount of time that he'll talk about like a certain person, whether it's like Joe Rogan or like some other celebrity, and it's like I don't even know if that person even like acknowledges they they exist, you know, like who knows? Yeah. Yeah. It's just it just got too much. I'd probably definitely recommend maybe like flagrant when it comes to like comedians type of thing. Yeah, they're funny. Uh, Andrew Schultz, you've probably heard of his name. He's definitely pretty jokes. Right. Um, who else? Oh, dude, do, 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 do you ever watch uh, a guy called Bobby Lee, comedian guy? Yeah, he's yeah. part of like the group. Yeah. Oh, dude, I fucking love that guy. He's so funny. My favorite thing about him was the uh, the one we talked about getting uh, touched as a kid. That one. Brutally really molested. <laughs> Oh, Every day for summer. Again. He's like, stop laughing. He's like, all right, do it again. He's like, yeah, I was brutally molested. He's just like, yeah, 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 I was brutally molested. Like, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like, like, it was a true story or what? And they, It what? was true, but just, that's, that's how good he is. He turned it into a fucking, like, oh, okay, video. okay, all right. Do all you know right. that he's like 50 oh. odd? But he's so like crazy young in his spirit and like he just yeah, seems yeah. Like younger yeah. younger yeah. old. Honestly, mm -hmm. the only podcast I listen to outside of our own is like 
uh, this podcast called Trash Taste, but like they they just cover like anime community stuff though, so it wouldn't even matter. It wouldn't be too relevant uh, for you guys. I need to. I don't watch anime. Like, I don't watch anime. You know, but I don't like, watch yo, you know what I need out, for a dude? podcast, bro? I'm just saying he's I need, missing out on some. I need another like brain buster, right? Yeah. Joe Rogan used to be my brain buster. You learn about like, oh shit, Egypt's over there and the pyramids and all the fucking Amazon. Also, I, I just like the desert thousands of years ago. Kind of There's nothing that's filled that void like lex will bring on people with ai and sometimes it's crypto and sometimes like microbiology and brain mapping and i'm like okay it's cool but i need a little something more i don't know what that is dude i don't know if you guys have recommendation no i just subscribe to like science channels to be honest with that kind of stuff you know like like some veritasium or like you know chris or whatever like most that. of my time like, like in terms of what i watch i love twitch that's my podcast to be honest i watch youtube as well like youtube's like my go-to but something i do and like al can you i don't know if you maybe you'd like this i don't know <laughs> something i do is i learn lore about like just random oh, video go. games that exist there we go. right or like, or like, the franchises, or like, or like, like, like real life things no, sometimes sometimes real life sure there like i go. like history but but like a lot of the the videos Did you I see this a lot on every podcast that we got here you go, you know, no you go i've said it i've said it i've said it once and they're like Here's oh, a big it's, thing. <laughs> it's another thing he loves it's, it's a staple you know, it's, it's a staple. pokemon cards bro let's start grabbing his cards bro, no, 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 don't like, bring the pokemon so you heard of warhammer 40k oh here we go <laughs> you heard of tarkov bro? <laughs> have you heard of the warhammer 40k there was this league of legends fucking kick dude i think it is interesting though because you told me about it, you know? it's it's some of it's just so bad out bad badass. It's just, it's almost like in in my way, it's kind of like like absorbing an anime, but just through like hearing about it. Because like yeah, you're hearing like about stories, book, right, guys? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's cool, and uh, it's just like there's so much information to it, and it's like the more you, you find mean you out, like you like learning things. about things that like you do nothing about. No, no, because like the thing is, because I've like started stories. learning about it, I've now got more involved with the actual hobby itself. Uh, so like I, I now have like some space marines downstairs that I'm assembling, bro. They look so fucking badass. Do you guys want to see them? I might grab them if you're lucky. Yeah, no, go grab, go grab, bro. <laughs> grab <laughs> cards, yeah. like, grab um, a couple cards. Yeah, they're just, they're yeah. just really fun to make. And mm-hmm. then you like, oh, dude, I don't know. I've been like absorbed by this lore. But like, my friend recently has been trying to get me to watch Elden Ring lore videos, and he's like, bro, it's like the coolest thing. He's oh, like, you're, gonna, you're gonna love it. And I know, because I, I've watched like all of the lore videos on all the Dark Soul games, and I'm like, it's so cool. It's like holy shit, this land is insane. I just I just enjoy hearing that yo, stuff. Yo, bro, like like um speaking of that, I mean it really co- it comes down to storytelling, right? Like books and, and things like that, you know? Like for me, I mean, outside of just watching shit, right? I like I also like to listen to books you know i don't I can, I can read it but it hurts my eyes after a while you know I listen i like listening to books there's like a really a lot of good books out there with like amazing like fantasy themes right or, or science themes right oh so you're like a harry potter reader uh no i'm like i've been reading a lot of like uh brandon sanderson books he has like an oh bro they're fucking series. amazing yeah he has bro, they're ama- have you have you read the way of the kings yeah, you started dude, those yeah. yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, that, I mean, you mean you that mean was the first Storm, one I got you, into. You mean like Stormlight Archives, bro? You mean Stormlight, Stormlight Ar- Archive? Yeah. And then the... have you have you read the Mistborn trilogy yet? Yeah, I've already read that a long time ago. But like, there's, there, there, there's six books. Like they like he's doing Mistborn. But like he does oh. like a whole like you know how like Marvel Cinematic Universe he has like a whole like Cosmere Universe where he does a lot of different stories based on the different places yeah. in that in that universe. He's, and, he's and my favorite connects. wolfer, dude. Yeah, he and they all connect. It's amazing. So stuff like that's it's really good like really good uh entertaining like you can listen to it while you grind it's it's, it's amazing or or go to sleep yeah That's what I do. bro the the his books i've never so i'm not really much of a book guy to be honest with you but Just i remember listen. i bought a kindle well yeah. i don't have uh i don't have audible they've not sponsored me yet so i'm waiting oh. for that to come in oh. they're, but, they're um, missing out there's there's a lot of other places you know i bought i bought <laughs> a kindle <laughs> A few um, years ago, and there was like one pound flash sale, and it was The Way of the Kings by Brandon Sanderson. And I was like, oh, okay, it's a pound. How can I go wrong with this? I have never, I never thought in a million years I would stay up till like six o'clock in the morning because nice. I was just so glued to reading the story. It was amazing. Bro, it was, you, dude, it gave me shivers. It was yeah. so good. Bro, you, you would love Stormlight Archives. That, that is my favorite from him. Like that series, dude. That shit is amazing. Yeah, yeah. I'll do that. that that's where I started. I think I've got I'm like one book behind right now. 
I'm like, yeah, that's I the got first one book. book to yeah, read. Ray of Kings is the first book in Stormlight Archive. Yeah, yeah, and then it's like, what is it, Oathbringer? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And then I can't remember what the other ones. Yeah, called, the Rhythm I've, of I've War. got all the books. Yeah, I've got all the books. I just I'm one behind right you wanna now. Want to go show them? He grab them real quick. <laughs> Do you want to see my Warhammer models? Do you guys want to see that? <laughs> Dude, I'll go fucking grab him, dude. I'm proud of whatever you want, dude. Yeah, no, it's, if it's okay, within right, hold up. Uh, two minutes, you know. Hold, go. hold up. Just make sure you wiggle really your ass when you leave. Yo, but anyways, I want to come. I want to like just say like, yo, you love watching shit. I can't believe you haven't seen things like Full Metal Alchemist or like Finland Saga. You know, or, like Berserk, dude. It's like why, why don't you touch anime? All that stuff? Why, why don't you touch anime, Alkin? No, well, okay, okay, no. no there's something you I have to know, understand. Man. Anime is just the it's a medium. It's not a genre, right? So it's like. It's like comparing like Avatar The Last Airbender to like Family Guy or something. They're just completely different. See that Rice, it's shows. spiritual, right? Yeah. He'll go real deep. No, no, but right? like, it's you a know, belief like, system. It's like anime is not a not a not a a kid's it's not a genre, right? So it doesn't mean it, it doesn't you know what I mean? So like it's not a thing necessarily for kids. There's a lot of anime shows that are, you know, catered towards adults or, or teenagers, you know? Things like Attack on Titan is like very much not for kids because it's like it's incredibly like bloody, you know, and like gruesome, and and it covers a lot of really like you know philosophical themes that will really get you thinking. You know, there's a bunch of shows like that. I would say don't miss out on that for sure. I mean, I guess you like watching the same things many times over, but if you're like feeling something completely fresh, there's a lot of good. Dude, we can mature, get you a list, bro. Yeah, we sure you to themes, watch Game yeah. of Thrones. I mean. Right. Jesus, yeah, and and, so... and it's like I can get you some shows that's not about boobies and stuff because like I think that's I'll a lot. Of... Bionicles, dude. <laughs> these, these are Space Marines, bro. Right? No, those are Bionicles. Is this a <laughs> book? No, 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 no. It's a box. It, these are the Grey Knights. Okay, it's uh, like a fraction or faction inside of. Uh, What's it called? Tabletop, right? It's a game. tabletop. It's kinda... a ta tabletop. Yeah. So this yeah. is how these. I don't know if it focused, but this is how these guys look, and like you can make them however you want to make them and stuff. And this is like this is a Rage Shadow uh, Legend sponsor. <laughs> yeah, they need ten percent off. You type Rexy, right? Yeah. So okay, so I'll show you some of these dudes. So basically, like they inside, they're like, oh, oh man, this is so nerdy. I fucking love it. I'm the biggest nerd I know, by the way. Yeah, that's that's fine. Fine. Your little came out, bro. Dude, look uh, at this dude. Dude, huh? dude, this is my yeah. fucking. He's wearing Terminator armor. He's got a bolter on the side. He's got that's a pretty sword. Yeah, yeah, I don't dude. know how how well you can see this guy. The but focus th this is dude, not that great, but it's okay. I'm gonna. So this guy was like, this guy's like the. I believe he's like the like the main honcho. Like he's the boy. This is this is your boy. He's got a book at the top there. He's holding a book in his hand. That was something I decided to do because it was supposed to actually go onto the back. And I was like, hell no, bro. He's got like a staff. I was like, let's put that book in his hand so it's like a fucking mage's book. How sick this that is that? One hundred percent hero wars looking. <laughs> and then this <laughs> guy right here is bro. my this this guy is my boy okay because this dude has got the fucking hammer oh it's reinhardt look at this guy uh, i'm fucking sick but, but you have man. to like put them together like you glue everything together i like, like how you see nightmare zone in the distance, <laughs> yeah dude i'm, I'm getting attacked <laughs> really get nerdy in this, bro. yeah wait show us what you're really doing on runescape bro hold on what's going yeah. on <laughs> I'm no, getting all this shit. Why do you have experiments, bro. dude? That's terrible. <laughs> oh, isn't that Nightmare's gun? Oops. Yeah, it dude, is. Wait, 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 what are you using? He, yo, he's is that, got is that experiments, like a mythical bro. cape? All right, all right, listen. Bro, you're doing stab. <laughs> what is this crush? Listen, <laughs> listen. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you need to understand. Right, so listen, I'm currently oh mid-Inferno attack. Yeah, I, I see why he don't go for XP, bro. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this I'm guy's mid -inferno. stabbing with the crush cape on, dude. Oh my God. Dude, it's the only <laughs> cape I've got. I've sacrificed, <laughs> I've sacrificed my fire cape. It is, like, the only option I have. You're okay, killing you're me. Are you trying to get it back? I mean... But yeah, dude, Warhammer is... Like, right. oh. You went through the effort of getting that cape on. You even need it, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know because it looks nice, bro. Hey, listen, oh, I did I Dragon see. Slayer too for this shit. Yeah, it's I more, see. it's more just like fashion. Okay, style. Yeah, shot. your character looks really good there. Yeah, but um, boys, like just if it's still obsidian. Fishing. That's great. I love it. <laughs> Look at this guy's fucking hammer, bro. How fucking like you don't even understand the detail on like this little guy. You gotta put yeah, it next to your it's face. It's pretty hard to see this blurry <laughs> detail here, dude. <laughs> put it there, your face, so you can like focus. I think you need. Hey, to be far listen, away. well, this this is like you know these have been built, so now what we'll have to do is like spray them and then paint them. 
So, and then we can play them. I mean, I can yeah, play it. I, like, I have a genre, cousin right? that did things like that, where they would, like, get these little things, and they would, like, paint them pretty much. And it'd yeah. be, like, really well, good, like, good painting job. Crazy table Bro, toppers. One, one sec, like, I'll show you. Is that what it's got... called? I, I never yeah, knew what it was called. games, yeah. One sec. It's, it's, you, like, you, it's you like, like horses and, like, whatever, and then they just paint them. Yeah, and it's like it's a really like, good design. It's like combine the model, the toys, into the tabletop aspect of... Anytime I had games, two things right? I could, you know, hump, I, I, I couldn't control myself with horses, right. man. Oh, look, look, look in the Discord okay. chat. Like, that, that's one on the <laughs> website. Like, you can okay. see how you can make them look. Like, people are really Oh, good. okay, I see. Yeah, this is, like, extreme. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, like, some next-level shit. Like, Can't believe you linked me a website that's instantly asking me for my cookies. I know, right? You cannot have my cookies, you know? <laughs> it's loading. Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's fun, for sure. I mean, who doesn't love a good... good toy you know like goddamn nice. i love it dude like this is this is the thing man i'm i am i i'm just like really really nerdy man like, yeah, I love... the equivalent of a dildo for men actually i'd say you're very passionate about things and that's you great. know what's hilarious yeah, though i'm great. definitely like probably the nerdiest here i love lore and shit but i'm the only person who's got a missus i'm sorry boys i, I don't know maybe i, like, I, I, hang, out, I hang out with girls right too. okay i hang out with yeah. girls okay <laughs> I see my I see my mom once a week, bro. Right? Yeah, Rice Cup yeah. cooks with his mom every night, man. I get you. Other girls you. too, all right. I hang out with other girls, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, but, but that's no, just like, different, you know. Like a lot of videos. Like, yeah. Lord hey, you know the story you told us earlier. You sound like you don't want to be with anyone. You know, like, right, you're 40 extra hours done. Man, I could <laughs> work an extra hours. Right? <laughs> so that's your hey, real quick, hey, you might have a missus, but we're happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Listen, yeah. listen, I listen. Coming out Damn, bro, ain't that the truth? <laughs> having, having, having my missus is definitely a sacrifice, but it's a worthy sacrifice. God, that feels yeah. forced, dude. Did yeah, you hear? You had a whole different, different octave. You've been rehearsing hey, that one. Man. Listen, listen now, while I, lie. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be the person I am without her. I know that. Yeah, so. no, I, I get you. Yeah. Hang out with girls is great. Yeah, you could be better than this, yeah, but, man. That's awesome, dude. I could have more subscribers on YouTube and upload more frequently if I didn't have her. But it's not That's about it. the numbers, baby. It's about but, the journey. But, but right. I would be sat here every day, just like my life is meaningless. Why am I wasting my time here? Thank you. That's you know what I mean? directed at every That's viewer we I have. Uh, <laughs> hey, bro. There's nothing wrong with that. Welcome to the Look, club, man. I, I figure out my life. Well, I, like I aspire to, have to be fun, deep. Yes. Right? Just Order like to have fun. Shit. Simple. Have fun. Spread the gospel of anime, and uh, you know, play some RuneScape. You know, boom. Hell yeah. And, and also hang out with good friends. You know, like that's kind of like that's all I really you really need. You know, some traveling. I guess there's just a few things. Not a whole I lot. haven't yeah, traveled really? like at all. Have you guys gone to like uh, not RuneFest, but like TwitchCon stuff? Yeah, me and Mint went. You missed out. You should go next time. I didn't go. Oh, dude, I, we were asking homeless people for States. weed, bro. It was a great time. Oh, it was great, yeah. It was great. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, it was a great time. It was much needed. Seriously, if you go Alchemy in, maybe we get a and b and shit. Maybe Tom, <laughs> Rakesy will finally join us too over there. Don't bring yeah. his missus. Or dude, I don't know. Um, if you get it all set up, then possibly. Yeah, for sure. No, you it's guys have Vegas? to go. It's so worth it. In Ooh. Vegas is a lot cheaper. So if we, I okay. will, I will be down to try to set that up for us. Yeah, hell yeah. If you guys are better. down, whatever. It's in yeah. October, so you got time. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think Rice Cup, you invited me last year, but it was just after I came out of hospital and I was like, bro. My YouTube made me fifty bucks this month. Like, <laughs> I was yeah. like, I need to get, I need to get this shit back on fucking sale. Like, I couldn't afford it back then. Yeah, but Rice Cup, what's going on with you and going to Japan with like Verf and stuff? Like, you were talking about that the other oh, day. Oh well, I mean, it was. It, uh, I just, I just, uh, uh, what do you call it? Invited Verf to be honest, because like it was me and my IRO friends from college. Like, mm. we always plan on going, and then, you know, it never happened, right? Every year, we're like, yeah, let's go. And then never happened. And then finally, this year, is like, okay, we're actually going. So we're like, okay. So we bought the tickets. Are you, are you, close, going, with, are you close with Furf, or is this like a random Oh, invite? yeah, I'm, I'm, close with, I'm close with him. Like, we're on Discord and shit all the time, you know? Like, we're kind of like the, you know, kind of like the confidants of uh, the, the YouTube vents, you know, venting and, and you know, just talking about our day-to-day -day kind of crap and watching some anime, that kind of shit. But yeah, yeah, so I just invited him, you know, because like my our friends were like, yeah, we're going. And I was like, yeah, we could take a few more people. So I was like, I invited Verif and like one of my, and JFK. And because like he, my friend JFK, he's like learning JFK. Japanese. JFK was AFK, you know. I don't know. Dead? It's just my Twitch friend. Like we were, <laughs> we were at TwitchCon with him before. 
a few times. But I was like, all right, yeah, I'll just invite them. And they're, they're like, yeah, I'm going. I want to go. And then they like, they, you know, they went for it. They're like, yes, man. They bought the tickets. I'm like, all right, let's. All right, How long are you going go. for, dude? 10 days or so. When, when oh, is it? It's going to be so good. Uh, It's on April, late April. Late He's April. going in April as well. Wait, you're, you're in you Japan? Are... Yeah. Please yeah, do yeah. a vlog. You're right. Please, please do a I vlog, mean, I'll, bro. I'll take pictures and maybe record do some a things. And, let's yeah. see, yeah. man. Yeah. Right. Is, speaking, is Japan very expensive or like cheap for traveling? It's supposed to be expensive. Uh, I, mean, I was assuming I, I, expensive. It's right? fairly expensive, like any time of the year, because like you're going from U.S. to Asia, so it's like a. I think it was. Well, a, dude, a, I meant a just grand. the actual, like, not the plane ticket, but like everything else. It's supposed um, to be very expensive. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you gotta you gotta be ready to spend a good amount because you gotta live, you know, like uh, get get the get the whole. What, what do you think the trip going? is minus the plane ticket, like two thousand, just to be there for a bit, or even more? Uh, than that? Yeah, I mean, I I think you should probably spend at least a grand or two, right? Like when you're there, because like you you otherwise, you know, like, like that's just, just like hotel and food, right? Pretty yeah, much? hotel, food, and like just just fun stuff, right? You also got to do some fun stuff, so you know, one or two grand, I, I'm guessing. Yeah. I'm really, really sad that I yeah. didn't get invited. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, me too, man. Well, look, we'll just go to Japan we're together. To Con, bro. We don't need them. Well, man, we're not allowed I, to I didn't take it personal that he didn't invite we'll me. Take a train. Oh well, well, the thing is, is that I, I could only invite. I couldn't invite the whole squad, probably, right? Like, I mean, unless you guys want to. Yeah, go, ho you can hotels still go. there are very small. It can't fit that many people in there. I mean, yeah, you, you could stay in one of those room. capsule hotels. Those hey, things. Awesome. No, I mean, like, I mean, like, you would just have to book extra rooms. Is the thing, you know. So, so yeah i mean what well, dude i've got a geo geographical question for you and i've always wondered this and i i think i know the answer but just to check but do you guys even money to go right brother, like, yeah anyways continue <laughs> are you calling us poor do no, we even have the money what does this guy do you guys even say. have did you see his face he was like do you guys even have the money no, so I I know, the eyebrows went up and shit look, you look, see that shit down at us bro <laughs> fucking hell you need, you need yeah, five round, bro. <laughs> nah i just Jesus, figured we go to touch con again you know nah, he then... figures you're in a relationship so you might be spending more than usual that's what you meant right yeah yeah no i just yeah, figured we're gonna bad. go to twitch con so i was like okay you know, like, why, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to, like, so, overspend you guys, you know? Yeah, I know you guys already spent money, and you definitely don't have more, Damn. so... Why don't we just why make it a sponsored trip? trip? <laughs> Bro, we should make it a sponsored trip. We should get a company to pay us to be there. Oh, that work. would be good. Yeah, I don't know work. if we're at that level, bro. I don't think so, bro. <laughs> we're yeah. not going to bring no tourists to Japan. This guy looks for Mr. Beast or something. <laughs> bro, I, I will I will literally, like, fly to Japan and take an Instagram picture wearing my Nike shoes, and that will pay for the whole thing. <laughs> thing <laughs> easy okay what do you so say my, about wait, wait, real quick geography? yeah yeah so my my geographical question is so you're living in the states right so i'm looking at it in terms of distance is it not closer to go west and go across the if you, if you live west that is yeah but if you live on the east coast you're gonna go all the way east across europe all the way to japan that's insane that one I don't know, but I do know that West will fly west to go to things like Japan. Yeah, because like, like, like if you, you live in states, California, you'll go west quite often. Hmm. I'd need to see it on a globe, but yeah, it looks like anywhere in the states is going to be so much closer to go west instead of east. Because if you go east, even if you're on the east coast, you still got to go across like the UK, the EU, uh, like Afghanistan and stuff to even get there. Hmm. Like it's so far. Doesn't sound very flat Earth of you. But do, do you know what? It's true. I did. I did hear something. Wait, what's the question? That was. Yeah. I heard something to do with when you fly east, and it's I'd, quicker. Yeah, it's supposed to be quicker for some reason. Do you know yeah, why that is? is? It's probably the, the wind way the either the earth wind blows east spins or the wind or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably the. I think it the is. Currents. Yeah, because like obviously there's weather patterns, right? And like, you know, like air. It's, it would also be probably east. more expensive. So like. For example, like airplanes, they have to get a paint job very often because even like the paint, once it starts to kind of get like scrap off, the air resistance, like the aerodynamic of the plane, it literally costs them a lot more money in just fuel just because really? the plane hasn't had a paint job in a long time. How do so you know if, if it's also going against the air, I can only imagine how much more expensive it probably costs. Where did costs you learn there. this, Alkin? In one of your Went podcasts? productions. That... Honestly, just on Google. I think I find airplanes interesting. That's probably why. Yeah, uh, when Wendover Productions does everything. Like about airplanes, airplanes get like paint jobs, not that commonly, but when they get it, it's strictly to save money on fuel. I believe that. That's crazy. 
Yeah, it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, so what is the well, question about going day. east? Honestly, I don't well, even I... pay attention too much to where you go. But yeah. yeah, it is a pretty long flight. I think flight. Al can answer that. He it's basically like said if you go from the west, you go west. Yeah. Yeah, east, you go east. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I can't believe you didn't invite us, though, for real. That's I mean, you want to go? Like, I don't even you probably still go. I, I don't feel, like, really welcome, to be honest, you know? What do you, what do you mean? I might just go at the same time and maybe bump into you. We'll see. Okay, yeah, go, go. Come on. He's in his Taniki Kasha. I don't know yeah, if you can mean, afford yeah, like, the hotel he's he staying in, bro. Here, here, here's, here's, the deal, bro. Here, here's the deal. There's no stopping you guys from coming, right? Because it's not like I own Japan, bro. You can't come now. You know? yeah, <laughs> yeah, if you want to come, invited. you can book hotels literally next to us. I you rented know? a boat, Rake, see if you're down. Like, I can I'm give not, you guys I'm not going to be able to afford it. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm not gonna... I, I kind of assumed that, right? I, I know that Rice Cup's like a high roller, so no, like... No, I'm not. I, mean, I, I just do go... money on things, dude. Like... Re, you'd, ha you'd have to like bring me out a dog bowl for me to eat out of on the street, because I'm not going to uh... be able to afford your fine-ass sushi and like your Wagyu steak and stuff, because mm. I know how you live. Nah, dude, trust. I just don't spend money on stuff, so I've been just, you know, saving Fair. money. And I'm not Bro, spending I on no misses, you know, so it's different. Dude, you, know? you think... Wait, wait, hold up. You think I spend money on my misses? Why, Do I really you? come across as the kind of guy that... <laughs> you dude, wanna, listen, uh, I think that's a very American I'm thing. Just kidding, I'm just when, kidding. When it, no, for real, though. I think it's a yeah. very American expectation to spend money on your partner. Bro, I wouldn't be with my missus if she wanted me to spend money on her. She's like... The complete opposite. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I spend my money on Warhammer and Pokemon. That is all I have money yeah, see, for. See, that's why you, you spend so much money on hobbies and stuff. What do I spend my Wait, money so on? Wait, what like, about like going out money. to like eat dinner or going out to movies or whatever? Dude, that doesn't so, happen so, that often. That's weird. Well, me and me and my lady, we we just split everything. We oh. just split everything. Like we're, sure, you we're got, in you this. Got you got a good one, eh? Hell yeah, yeah man. Cheaper. Everything. Everything down the middle. And like she I'll, she must not be made in America. You know, no, she she definitely ain't. But I'll let her get away with some things, you know. It's like she, we went to Budapest and she was like, she fucked up the flights and I had to pay like an extra hundred dollars for our luggage to get over there. And when we got oh, back, she fun. was I, yo, yeah, yo, she, so here, here's the deal. He I know, still remembers it. You see how he brought it up yeah. slowly. Yeah, but I, it was it was because the thing is, it doesn't yeah. happen. Still pisses yeah. him off, bro. He's dude, I'm so so if he had luggage, I'm so pissed. <laughs> but dude, hey, do you want to know something? Right, right. So, anyway, she said to me, she said, "I would like to pay you back, uh, for for the flights," and I was like, "That's nice." And she said it again. I was like, "Yeah, that's nice." <laughs> and obviously, I was like, nah, don't worry about it. Right, but then, do you want to know what made yeah. up for it? You want to know what made up for it? The best for place oh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> for, for Christmas, um... I bought her a Kindle because I'm a true king. I bought her a Kindle so she can read her books. Okay. Uh, Tell her, did you rehearse that, that joke? Brandon? <laughs> Tennyson. <laughs> and for some reason, because I bought the Kindle off of my Amazon, it instantly linked the two. And she then put her card information into the Kindle. And the other day, I bought some Magic the Gathering cards. And she's like on the phone to Amazon, like, there's 50 pounds missing from my bank account. <laughs> so I got my Magic cards paid for. <laughs> yeah, so nice. his, yeah and, 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 oh. and that's the reason why I didn't, I wouldn't have initially asked you. Because I was like, yo, this guy buys Pokemon cards. He buys Warhammer, whatever. This guy literally spends grands on, on his hobbies. Uh, that's why you're poor, dude. That's why you're poor. That's why I was like, all right, I probably wouldn't ask Rixie because he's like, you know, he already spent all his money, right? And like, you know, and like, man, I know he was having some issues uh, setting up for TwitchCon recently. And that was recent, right? So I was like, okay, I'll you nah, know, dude, let the man recharge. The bear market slayed me, bro. You know, oh, so I was like, I'll this let the man This guy just assumed your financial situation. How do you yeah. feel about I know, this? No, because he told dude. me, you know, he was having... <laughs> I'm going to make you know, the most offensive you know. tweet later. Just wait. <laughs> no, nah, he's saying he was having some issues. So I was like, okay, we already, already spent money it. on TwitchCon, so... I can't, like... Dude, I'm I don't... Like, no, 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 bro. I'm not going to lie. I don't think... I don't even know if I replied to your message about when you invited me to TwitchCon. My silence oh. was my answer. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm yeah just, I feel that, bro. Sometimes saying, I don't like, respond. I'm like, I hope they get that. Yeah, I feel I, like... Dude, amount, oh, it would I do be that like, all the time where I answer the question, yeah. but I don't... I, I forget to send it, but I've answered it. You answer it. it in your head, right? To, to be honest, yeah, I do that I, all the I, time. To be honest, I, felt, I would have felt more rude asking you guys to come to Japan. Then Why? Because they're so you. broke. <laughs> yeah, we're so like, poor. Like, based on financial history, I already know these guys spending money. You know, like oh, dude. You know, I haven't spent money on cards 
anything you know like like just other than paying for house bills and stuff that's literally all i all i spend money Wait, on so do you, do you guys uh so, live alone or with parents or how's the living situation for you guys uh i live with my mother but like you know i got i pay the bills for the house nowadays so yeah so like um is it a mortgage house pretty much then, yeah or is yeah, it, yeah like... it's a mortgage house. yeah okay yeah yeah so Jeez. i've got i've got a mortgage with my lady as well so we're we're chilling where'd you guys get your house Oh, well, initially it was, like, me and my dad's, you know, but things happen over time, and then, you know... Does I... Rice Cup have me muted by any chance, bro? The yeah, amount of times, like... I, I think you're too poor to talk, dude. Dude! You're too poor, bro. <laughs> Am I too poor? Can you not hear me down here? No, I can hear you. No, you can go. Yeah. No, he fucking... can't hear you from up there, bro. It's my, yeah, it's my $1 Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. no, 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 you, you can't have a... bro, you... Fucking Let's... Rice Cup, bro. The amount of times I get asked something and restarts answering for me. Oh, it's I, just no, like... I thought it was a question for all of us. That's why. <laughs> yeah. I Let's don't see. even know what the question was. Sorry, what what did you say? Uh, when did you get there? Like, just over a year ago. So we've only been here for just over a year. Okay. Yeah. So relatively recently, and I saw actually, I don't know if this was a few years ago, but you bought a house, right? Like a few yeah, years ago. Yeah, three years back, ago, I think. Three years ago. Nice. I'm guessing. I, I'm guessing that you're a bit of a baller like Rice Cup, and you paid no, for it outright because man, you know no. the boys. We had. Some... Did you just say if I paid for the whole house in one go? <laughs> just in one go, bro. Just like <laughs> no. Done. All right, only only like Oda and Bodhi can do that, bro. Yeah, okay? no, trust. <laughs> I didn't do. That. Trust, it, it, a lot of this was already, like, partially done, you know, Wait, before uh, I took over. Elkin, why don't no. you have Devious become a housemate, and then he can just pay half the mortgage for you? Big brain idea. Can you go around and give him drinks shit? Is he in Canada? Uh, he'd have to bring his rabbits, though, if he's still going. He lives in, Cal he lives in like, uh, California, man. Oh. No, would, I don't know if he'd want to uh, live where it's cold. I, I would not mind having a roommate at all. Hmm. Um... That'd be nicer. Uh, yeah. Probably. If somebody wanted to stay for like a month or two, I wouldn't even charge them. I'd just let them stay. As long as they're not yeah. freaking like allowed or some shit. Yeah. Dude, dude, we could all meet up at Alkins. Gamer house. Yeah, dude, dude. we should all meet we, up We were supposed Alkins. to do that for group Iron Man, but we just never did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah. Dude, I crash over if I go to Canada again. You know? Uh, yeah. But I think I think all of us here have we all we've all done pretty well in the sense of we got mortgages here, right? Well, you know, one way or another, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Uh, you know, the sponsor of today's podcast, e.g., the raid of the Shadow of the Legends, pretty much Perfect. was my was my payment, man. You know, you can say what you like about them, but like from my experience with raid, <laughs> man, they were always such a good sponsor in terms of like paying on time and like just just everything like i never had any issues with raid they were always like the best company i ever dealt with they did always uh pay pretty quickly do i have a company i worked with like uh no i did in november and they haven't been paid yet oh dude same i i've got the exact same what who Is was it? it with oh actually no no no, no don't, don't say it, it don't on, say it. on air don't say you can it. type it though in the discord if you want to is so it rhyme with it. batch <laughs> no i don't Batch me? I don't know. Uh, right, that's... hold up. <laughs> Is it that? That's one of them, yeah. There's like two or three of them. Okay. okay but that is okay. one of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's the, it's the same for me from oh, back in wow. November as well. Now, uh, the only sponsorship issues I've had is the established titles, you know, sketch. Sketch. Yes, yeah, so I, I actually didn't end up working with them. Did you guys, Dude, you guys never made, got paid from them? I made a draft and I was ready to... Like it got approved. I was ready to like put it on the video, but then I I had to drop it completely, you know, because I I I read I saw the news, you know, man. Yeah. That was uh, so so the people that did that sponsor, do they ever get paid for it? They have to sue them now. What? Wait. So what? like, I don't think they actually paid out the people. Yeah, supposed yeah. To I pay think out. they're. Uh, I think they're on some like trial, like setting that up right now or something. So there's definitely like a lawsuit really? going on, probably. Mm. Yeah, because yeah, well, if it's a fake thing and people stop, like, the reputation was ruined, so I doubt they're paying any money. Yeah, dude, it's crazy because, like, it, the people behind that company, like, they run a lot of these kind of, like, basically borderline scams. So, so yeah, it's nutty. It's nutty. It just I mean, sucks, I'm assuming so. the reason why they're not paying is because, yeah, it just became, like, across the whole of the internet, people know that it was, like, not yeah. a real thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, dude, the that thing was like is, the first time that I was like, holy shit, we <clears throat> almost got got, you know? Yeah. Like, man. Yeah. For real. Yeah. 
yeah no that was that was a rough one for sure yeah. i i think um like I, I think people going into it with like the the gimmick of like oh you get to be a lord or a lady but like i never really thought of it i never took the sponsor by the way but i never thought of it as like yeah you're actually a lord or a lady and if that's really what you were doing it for i don't know oh, yeah. i just thought somebody's gonna was somebody's like, gonna get you at some point yeah i thought it was but, just like a fun thing or something and it they, and it's not like something that was meant to be necessarily yeah. taken seriously but there would be like some le actual legal thing backing it out but then once i realized there's like zero legal things backing it up it's like okay I'm, I, that's a scam you know i'm not i'm not promoting that you know so i mean how I much it was land is the... you go ahead Sorry. I was yeah. just gonna say, how much land is there in Scotland that they can just be like, "Yo, this is your patch." <laughs> yeah, like that. Part also, is... dude, when I heard that, I was like, yeah. "Man, I guarantee, if you get told you got a patch and you go you there, don't have some, shit. bro, <laughs> some farmer's gonna come up to you with a shotgun and be like, get off my fucking land, get right, the I, I, fuck out so, of here.'" So I believe they do own that particular land, and they, but like, they, they're only giving you like you know like <clears throat> this much or whatever, right? So it's like you know whatever. But the thing is, is that that doesn't give you the actual title. No, of you course know? not, bro. Right. Like, and, come and on, that's it's a thing. joke, isn't it? Yeah, it's not like for real. No, 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 no. They they treat it <clears> like it's a legit thing, but that that's the scam part. That's part of the scam is that it's actually not not legit. But, but that's that's the thing. I think the whole no. thing was supposed to be like a joke because it clearly wasn't true. No, the, but then it, I think no, it was supposed to be scam. designed around yeah. planting <laughs> trees. That was like the whole yeah. definition. And then, yeah, so then yeah. yeah, that's one part. The other part was that if you do the thing. Uh, they're gonna work with these other organizations. They'll plant trees, but there's no like actual receipt of proof of them doing that. So then that's like the other scam, you know. So I, I thought it was yeah. like a Mr. B shit where they plant trees for money, and I was like, all right, that's cool. Yeah, but they like they don't have any actual evidence to show that they did. Yeah, yeah pretty so, much. So it's like no, then it's. Like I just, a I, just yeah. I just didn't think companies that like have sponsored so many people would be a big scam like that. Yeah, I dude, that's everybody why. took yeah, it. I know. Yeah, that's so rare that that would happen. Yeah, that's the first time, you know. And we've taken like, you know, what I mean, that people used to always hate raids when it first started out, but they they're actually, you know, they're actually a fairly legit company. You know, they do their raids dude. became just such a meme that no one even cares yeah. anymore. Exactly. Now <laughs> it, they don't it, care. It but it's is. hilarious that people were like, you know. What's so funny is they know then. they're a meme too. Yeah, it's they embrace the. Yeah, have they like, made? All, I know. I'm pretty sure they made Rice Cup do it, but have they made you guys do that fake like ad for raids? Where they start what? off talking about like pillows or something? Oh yeah. No, yeah, I've not done that yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that was those. That was Dude, funny though. Bro. There's such a meme that they gave me this like book. They gave me this like thing to read where the, it's like, have you guys heard of this new gaming mattress? Yeah, it's yeah, this and yeah. this. And then it's like, so just weird. kidding. It's raids Shadow Legends. Yeah, no, uh, yeah I, did that so one. Brilliant. I did that it's one. Brilliant. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, so they, they literally gave you a video of them making that commercial for you to use, and then you would like talk about it. And it's like, ah, just kidding. Yeah, that was great. I love that. Yeah, they legit like, made a commercial for a bed that doesn't exist. Yeah. I'm gonna great. have to open up my sponsors, dude. I liked it. I liked it. I, that was a while How ago. How long ago though. was this? Dude, when like was this? Year. Was this recent? Last year. Probably, last two, year. probably two plus years ago, I'd say. Oh, for me. oh, okay. Yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah, it's been a while. Over but yeah, I remember, like, the first time they ever messaged me, it was like, you know, it was just some company that was like, hey, we want to sponsor one of your videos. And I didn't, this was this was years ago, so I was like, I don't know who these people are. And it's like, okay, they want to pay me to upload, like, a segment of an advertisement in my video. I'm like, sweet. Um, but I was like, listen, I don't know who you people are. It's like, if I'm going to advertise your product on my on my YouTube channel, I was like, you need to pay me like up front. So they paid me up front for ages, like Raid did. And then we kind of built a relationship over time. And then I was like, okay, I can see that, you know, you will pay and it's not like a, a scam or anything like that. But um, I've never known a company that was willing to do that aside from them. So I've got to give them props where, you know, it, it's deserved. Yeah, they were my first sponsors I ever took. So I can't say too much about, you know. No, they were my first sponsor. Yeah. I was so excited. Made 300 bucks. <laughs> who, who, yeah. who was it with? Raids, dude. They low yeah. ball me. Yeah, to 300 whole... bucks! <laughs> Yo! Dude, I don't like negotiating, man. <laughs> that, that part sucks. Go. Negotiating sucks. Oh, bro, when you signed in that contract, they were probably like, oh, we got him. We got yeah. him. Yeah. Like, I think it's just people noob. who work for Raid Shadow Legends, but not really, and they're, yeah, they they're just go and find people to make money off you. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a career. 
Oh. Yeah, they're I, the it's intermediaries. Like, it's like a middleman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got you, ain't. It's all good. <laughs> like, I'm honestly though, like, I, I'm I'm glad the sponsor stuff is like actually a thing. Yeah. Oh, for sure, man. I remember like when I first started getting sponsors, like it went from okay, I can just pay my bills this month to I can actually pay my bills and also save a bit of money. And I was like, holy shit, there's like that's a thing. <laughs> And that was that was a few years ago now, so definitely for sure it's like a, a huge part I think of the whole YouTube RuneScape business model of you know. You know it's hilarious the fact uh, that we all do it makes it the best because then no one looks bad for doing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like if everyone stopped doing it, I'd be like, "Fuck, can you guys start doing it?" So yeah, I'm like, stupid. I, yeah, I mean, I just openly admit <laughs> that it's a necessary evil, you know, and it's not like that yeah. evil or anything, you know. It's just like whatever. I mean, at the well, end of the, the day, the issue like, is that. The RuneScape community is all 20 and 30 year olds. Like, they all know the deal. They know yeah, we don't actually it. play. So yeah. it's like, whatever, dude. Yeah, exactly. Like, you, sh you should be smart enough to understand that you literally can't make these videos <laughs> unless you earn some sort of income, you know? Because, like, none of us are millionaires that don't have to work anymore, you know? So most, most people oh, understand. For sure. Most people well, understand. I mean, for yourself, bro. Riggs is doing pretty well over there, bro. Yeah. yeah he he is, fucking he is, mid he over here, man. He's hiding his money, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hiding yeah. it, Pokemon. But you know, it's like, so it's one of those things like we've all obviously came to terms with taking sponsorships. And I think for a whole, like the RuneScape community is pretty much on board with it because, and I, you know, I'm speaking for other people here, so correct me if I'm wrong in the chat chat, but chat, it's chat. like, you know, allowing the content creators you watch to take a sponsorship pretty much prolongs the life potential for that YouTube channel and being able to do it and make content for people for longer. And like something recently that I've, like noticed and the way that i kind of justify it right is i don't control the ads that get played on my youtube videos and that it's is like weird eh? it could yeah i mean you could get a gam like firstly i won't take a gambling sponsor like it's just one of those things that i personally i'm not about i don't want to do it it's not something i would like to push onto my audience and it's like but i get like advertisements for gambling on my own youtube videos like all the time and i can't control that uh, and like God knows what else. And it's like the way I see it is like, okay, so not only does the content creator get a bigger piece of the pie by taking a sponsor and they get to control what that advert is, but it also then means that by doing so, they can reduce how many uh, Google ads are on that video as well, right? Because I'm sure you guys probably do something similar. Like if you get a sponsored video, like you're going to have that sponsored segment. And most likely, you're going to put a lot less ads in that video. Yeah, yeah. Like, I do, you know, yeah. you've, you've already mm -hmm. done it. It's like fair game. So, I, I don't know. It's hard. We obviously all have, like, a fucking massive bias. And we're probably not the best people to just sit here. Like, yes, it's a good idea to take sponsors when there's there's nobody given any other opinion. But, well, um, I mean, for us, it's definitely a, a, the way to go. Because otherwise, you can't make these videos, you know? Pretty much. I mean, you could, but it would be a struggle. It, yeah, like, it I mean, would, it'll it, be like there would one be a lot video, less content creators. Dude, it'll be like one video the, a month for me, The time bro. investment to videos would be much less. It'd have to be yeah. like a spam of videos that are not as great to watch. It yeah. would be. Yeah, yeah the same. Right to make down. a quality good video, it would take me probably three times longer, you know? So. Yeah, for sure. It, that's kind of like the deal, so. Yeah. For sure. At this point, I think it's just like, mostly like throughout most gaming categories, it's just like known and accepted yeah, it's at this very, point. Uh, standard now so that's cool that it's is cool. cool it is cool we should start doing two sponsors in one video you need to you need to make those like you know million views uh kind of kind of you know that's on spotify I, I don't that's think we do any that. videos have two sponsors in one unless it's like a spotify, read off or something dude. those podcasters just take a cart yeah yeah but that, yeah, that's not the same. they don't pay now. as much though no, I mean like there's like there's like channels like Veritasium, huge channel, right? He he does double sponsors, but it's no, like no, it, but the it's common, are crazy. but they don't pay the same because they're oh, paying I, for an no, ad in a video that's like thirty minutes into the video. Yeah, well, it's I like, mean, it's no, like, I'm saying like, it's, like no, it's like a ten sponsor. minute video though, like like ten twenty minute video, then and, and he'll have two of them. But like, but well, the thing is, is like his videos are so excellent that like those guys, the companies are willing to you know do whatever it takes to get in on that, you know. Wait, like, how many that's views like does a crazy um he easily gets like like several million 10 million kind of thing like any time oh, okay well yeah. that, that is self-explanatory yeah yeah no his videos are like just crazy like quality mm -hmm. so yeah 
Dude, I'll tell you what, one of one of the best sponsors I ever had was actually it was an entire video was the sponsor. And it was um to play a game. God, what the hell was it called? Arcage. It was called Arcage Unchained. And they were like, hey, would you make a dedicated video? And I was just like, let me look into the game. And I, I do this with like pretty much every sponsor I get. Like if it's a new one, I'll always look into it and like make sure it's legit and stuff. Um and I was like, okay, this game looks good. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll play it. And I literally spent like a month playing the game to like try to like understand what the fuck it was about. Because I didn't want to make I didn't want to make a, a full video on a game and then have people from that game watch the video and just be like, bro, what is this guy doing? Like stood in Lumbridge for a month. So I, I like properly got into it and I like spoke to people in the game and I got really lucky because some dude I like befriended some guy. And he like took me everywhere. So I saw like the whole game, like the end game. I saw like the housing uh, system they had and stuff. Like he had like a house with like anime waifus inside of it and shit. And it was, it was actually a really, really fun experience. Like I enjoyed it a lot. It was, it was one of the sponsors I enjoyed the most. But it's a bit risky because like you're talking about uploading like a complete. I've never accepted full video sponsor. I think that's very risky. Yeah. yeah. It, it tried to do parades. I'm like, I, I don't have the mobile. Like, how the fuck would? Hey guys, what's up? But like, it's no, nah, I'm good. Like, how do you even do a full raid shadow video? I, I, Bro, I never man. tried to play it. Brother, you play it on the desktop? They tried. I do, I've done solo sponsors, but I'm like, just give me things to read, please. I can't. Mm. I can't believe Bro. it. <laughs> dude. Yes, I you can. can play it on. You can play it on computer. I, dude. Oh. Now, <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Now you can. Yeah. Um, Oops, I didn't know. Well, my my man's here, like with his phone, like so. Guys, we're gonna we're gonna. Dude, go so can tutorial. you put your phone in the camera? I'm like, here it is. Like, just fucking for you. Let it be done, bro. Make uh, you adorable. You're adorable, you. dude. By the way, we were at the beginning of the podcast. God, I never asked it properly, but you made a bunch of investments for the wilderness bosses, man. How did that go? Are you as broke <laughs> as he is, IRL, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Can you yeah, hear me? Shame him, I'm a, dude. I'm a, can you hear me right now, Mint, or am I too poor? <laughs> I think you're too poor. Can you say it again, Richard? Uh, yeah, so I bought... I'm sitting on right now 458 scepters. How much each did you pay? Five to seven. How much are they now? Three. Damn oh right, God. bitch. <laughs> you well, played yeah. yourself. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is... And I don't want to give you an hopium. Don't buy anything. Crossbows just went up. Oh, so yeah, that's is there a return? Yeah, if they I, well, buff it, scepters if they buff are pretty the insane. If they buff the it, only then thing, yes. you know, they, so they said at the beginning, they said, okay, when these wildy bosses come out, you're going to need dual combats, right? That's going to be best in slot dual, right? And then they really hinted at the rev weapons. Scepter ain't good at it. Any of those <laughs> bosses, bro. Not <laughs> fucking one. And they if you talk about a duel by freezing Callista with hides, that's some bullshit, bro. That is not dual combat, bro. So <sighs> we all got fucking baited out here in these streets, dude. Because everyone bought scepters. We they all got baited. They should have made one of them weak to magic. That would have been then it would have yeah. been good. But they trolled. They did they, they definitely trolled. So, you wanna know what troll fucking merch I had a while ago, bro? Right. I so when Hydra came out, scales went up to like three hundred each because everyone used a blowpipe there that didn't have a Tebow. And when Zoro scales crashed down to like one forty each, no one one seventy each, I invested like I bought like over ten million scales. And then Damn. out of nowhere they just kept going down because there was a heavy amount of bots there. They just didn't fix it. So I kept waiting it out because normally bot like, <laughs> they they ban a bunch of bots in, like batches, right? So I was gonna wait till they get banned and then go back up. And then they nerfed the blowpipe at the same time. <laughs> yeah. And scales went to like 70 each at that time. Uh, oh, rest in did peace. you double down? I, I, I held on to them for like a year, probably. I sold them for about 140, but I bought them for like 160, 170. So oh, okay. like you recover some losses. Yeah, well, I mean, I could have bought a whole bunch at 70 each as well, though. Uh, yeah, true. That was that was probably one of the worst. I feel your pain right now, dude. Because uh, yeah, my cash stack is real small and my scepter stack is real big. So we're just gonna be waiting it yeah. out and see for a happens. year and a half and see what happens, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, bro. We'll see. Hopefully, dude. they they do something to that thing. 
I thought, see, I thought it was more to do with the fact that they made the Revenant weapons like 10 times more common. Oh, yeah, that's like why. That. That's why it's going to crash more. Yeah. That's yeah. why okay. it's going to be like one mil each, I would why. imagine, don't you? That's why everyone thinks, though, which is I'm, I'm thinking one mil each is a pretty fair price, actually. That's no, probably no, what's no, going to no, be coming. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, so in we'll my see. so when I was doing Slayer on Fresh Star, I got a Rev Task, my first one, sixty-seven Slayer in. First one, sixty-seven Slayer. It's quite a grind. So in order to get a Slayer Task, you got to spend almost a thousand points unless you get lucky. I think it, they're going to make the task more common or extend it in the future. Maybe so that will, I that will help the price. It. That's for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think it just what happened was everybody sold their scepters. And I looked at there's an OSR as a wiki chart you can look at for real price action, and you can see the uh, momentum waves. And it just shows in like 15 minutes, 400 scepters dumped. Then another 15, 500 scepters dumped. And then you just oh. see this huge line going down. I'm thinking, oh, yeah, people oh. are getting rid of this shit. So it just started because people dumped everything beforehand because they got scared of the drop rate which is something, you know, that came out right when the Willie update happened. So it was just peak fear. And now uh, I don't know what's happening. I'm going to write it out. I told my viewers, hey, it's either uh, we go to the moon or I'm doing it from scratch series. And right now it's looking like I'm doing it from scratch series real soon. Yeah, uh, I mean, if you get lucky, Jagex might buff it and then you can sell it then, you know. I ain't, I ain't too worried about it, man. I'm yeah. making so much with that damn void I mean, wafer. Just yeah, making people. You're, you're making money. Back I've heard it's because... really good, anyways. Like the scepter, like all jokes aside, not trying to beef up the prices, but like I've heard it's actually really good. Um, it's insane, but just not so, for the bosses. You really just accepted <laughs> yeah, a sponsor true. during this like stream. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Mint, do you know what you should do? You should literally just make like 10 videos in a row that are just using that scepter. Like, <laughs> yeah. I have nothing in my bank just, but a scepter. Take all the clips out where you don't hit very high. <laughs> I have nothing in my bank but a scepter. I'm like, oop, that's my stack, and I just grab one or it, it Just record for like an hour of you just using it and only show the footage of you hitting like 60s with it. Mm -hmm. uh, damn. You should do I, that. I yeah, think you should actually do, genuinely do that, bro. Like, for real, for content, I think do the video. I only have a Pharaoh, whatever it's called, <laughs> scepter in my bank. And then just go straight to LMS, then go do Wooly Slayer because you can barrage fucking like 50s with that thing. That's why it's good. For Wooly Slayer, that thing. Oh, you can do like nuts. 60s with Wooly Slayer, can't you? It's mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. That's you crazy. Can bench like, as well, with the staff on, with normal hits. You the the issue is no one really does Wooly Slayer. Yeah. It's a fool. I know, but it's not terrible. Like it's actually pretty good. And if you can barrage that high, like oh my god, the XP is gonna be mad. I was telling mm -hmm. people that I'm yeah, holding scepters until it will be updated every five seconds. Until a wilderness slayer update hits, and then it has a use case. I'm like, I'm holding these until then, Reds. That's the only hope you might have is because who? If there's a big old update for Wildy Slayer, the one thing you do want to have is is a scepter. There's no way you don't want to have one of those. It's too strong. Dude, but, can you imagine if they go to elk price? It must be close. Oh my gosh. More fear. You know, let me take a let me before we answer, let me take a gander at the price here, dude. All right, maybe we're up. You don't know. You don't know about this. Uh it needs an update. That I think that's the only way it's gonna go up. Man, I'll make you feel slightly better about yourself. So <laughs> it's under three. I... <laughs> oh no. I I bought a scepter, kind of panic bought one the day before the update for 15 mil fresh star worlds because I had a mace and I wasn't sure if I needed a range 15 weapon. Mil. And yeah, so it's like six mil now on fresh star worlds, so I've lost like a good chunk. Damn, dude, that does uh, make me feel better, bro. Thank you. And bro, you staying yeah, broke everywhere? Uh, well, <laughs> every way you can, eh? Mm. I'm just uh, lost five mil, you know. Right, uh, boys, yeah, that's, that's, anybody... that's like 30 mil in like actual gold, isn't it? <laughs> I, yeah, man. I don't, I don't know, know what the ratio is. Oh, no, 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 it's pretty much like balanced out. I think it's like one mil for a start world is like 1.4 mil. Oh, really? That's I got that much. Yeah, so it's, it's like proper came down, but there's still really wacky prices. Like, uh, what's a, what's a good example of that? Like, everything has a way different price. I'm trying to think of something that's like mad expensive. <clears throat> Hold on, let me have a look real quick. Like recently, the <sighs> fang that you get from TOA, like not that long ago, was like, how much was it? God, I think it was 200 mil for like the longest time. Yeah. Um, well, they also made a dumb comment, so it was just the, inevitable. The, the Armadale crossbow in Fresh Start Worlds is 89 mil. You know, it's like things like this, like there are just things that are stupid expensive. V Vigora's chain mace is 68 mil <laughs> right now. And I don't mean to, uh, God That's damn. Insane. Yeah, you invested in the wrong one, bro. Well, <laughs> man, I'm fresh, yeah. I guess, eh? <laughs> you bought the wrong one, dude. 
I will say I did buy a couple of every weapon. But, uh, I bought a lot more shampoos, dude. Yeah. You didn't just buy the wrong one, but you bought a ton of the wrong one. <laughs> I did, bro. I bought more at seven mil, bro. Before they dumped, that was me oh buying the God. peak too. I was liquidating my bulwarks. Uh, that's fucking hilarious, dude. Uh, oh my god! It's a, you know, that's a life lesson. You learn, you learn from it. You bought the wrong one. You bought a lot of the wrong one. <laughs> I'm home, baby. We'll see what happens, bro. All right. right. Zero. Listen, before we go, anybody still watching the podcast at this point? This is the end. Can we get some? I don't know. What should the word be, boys? Maybe like the word. Yeah, just comment. You bought the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. There you go. <laughs> you bought, bought the wrong, wrong one. Is the you word. Bought the wrong one. I'm not reading this comment section, bro. <laughs> if you okay. put that in the comments, you're a beast. Thank you for watching this far, Mr. Alkin. It's been a pleasure to have you on. Thank you so much. We did three hours, man. This yes, is sir. like it's the uh, most yeah, long the starting. How how long is it supposed to be? I yes, didn't. Three hours apparently. Three hours, hours dude. dude. Is this on a normal time? Is it normally two? Uh, usually it's like two. Probably like two. it's up to two. Yeah. Maybe usually one and a half. But, Damn, but I'm getting, I'm getting paid for overtime then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll well, you know, well, dude, we'll Bryce Cup's the only one here with any money, so he's gonna dude, have to. No, handle, I'm gonna be broke after handle. this yeah. Japan trip. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's broke all of a sudden, eh? I'll be broke <laughs> after the Japan trip because I used all my like money there, you know? Damn, bro. <laughs> uh, Damn, dude. Yeah, but Can't don't worry. What do you think of us like that, Rice Cup? What? That's, uh, that's Yo, cool come on. Thing. All right, anyways, then. No, it's very uh, observant. It's very. It, you know what? It's actually. I, no, I'm only, all jokes aside. Yeah. I appreciate you looking out for us like that, Rice Cup. That's kind of you. Yeah, we'll very go canceled. broke on TwitchCon, so show up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right, we'll, Alkin. we'll have Alkin's links in the dis description. Anything? Yeah, you, you can. Got anything else? Just my OnlyFans, honestly. That's about it. I don't okay. Know. How all much right. is your OnlyFans? How much is it? It's free because I can't sell it at all. Yeah, no one wants it. <laughs> That's just all the right, price. We'll I have like. that link in the description. All right, but yeah, check out out on YouTube and on Twitch. Link in the descriptions. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up now.